Okay, it say go online. Hey, and what's up, everybody? It's Indigenous Realist, the Realist, y'all. Just tapping in. I ain't been through in a while, man. I've been trying to, you know, keep it coping stream, and we finna build. If they send my notification out, y'all know I don't be in their algorithm sometimes. You know how that goes. So I'm just gonna wait back, chill, and see who comes in. up y'all hit that like button so we can get some more like-minded people up in here man let's build peace and greetings sis well Matt, great to have you up in here today what's been good with you hey did you get a notification uh baby girl for show morris what's great sis i ain't been live in a minute i've been trying to just you know drop content i've been trying to drop content as much as Oh, you still up in here. Okay. I'm streaming from here trying to see if they uh send my notification out. But yeah. I'm here now. It don't say any. I've been looking for you. I've been looking for you. Okay, okay. Well, you know, I ain't hard to find, sis. You haven't added me on Instagram yet? I'm on Instagram at Indigenous Real and Indigenous Realist is my page on Instagram. What's been good with you on the same day? I don't see how they do it. Well, I think I put up, I put up three today, but my email, Indigenous Realist at Gmail, it's, you know, I'm, I'm contacted everywhere at Indigenous Realist. I'm even on Twitter now, even though I'm locked out my Twitter page, I'll get back in there uh, eventually. What you been studying? Streaming from this app because it's more clear, but at the same time, um, streaming, streaming straight from YouTube is better because I can see how many people up here. They still haven't sent my notification right, Bri. That's crazy, man. YouTube be hating. Yeah, YouTube be hating like a mug. Matter of fact, I got a trick for him. Hold on, I'm finna go share. Let me go share them real fast. Okay, okay. I just um share it. I just share that's that's a craft for me. I, I love music. Especially like especially since I've been able to um put it towards a more positive putting out trap music. Oh hey baby girl for show more. Is you still up in here, sis? What you think about 21 Savage getting deported? What you think about that, sis? Hey, whoever just came up in here like the stream so we can get some more like-minded people up. Yeah. I'm like, as long as they send the instrumentals, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a make the music. It's real simple. I make it right here on the same app I make my videos on. I record my music on. What's good, though, man? Y'all drop me a, a comment in the comment section. Atlanta. Yeah, that fucked me up. That fucked me up, sis. That man is from the UK. Like, that just goes to show... That that right there goes to show and prove, like, you can't tell, but that's a great lesson for us to see that we are the same people. You get what I'm saying? We got stolen from here and took in over there. We got stolen from here, took in the West Africa. People, they got stole from here, took into the islands. Things of that nature. You get what I'm saying? So that was a very good lesson. I hope people paid attention to that. Easy thing is, I just was talking about 21 Savage in my stream. I'm gonna be uploading that video. I put that uh, stream on lock uh, right after I had dropped it, but I'm a, I'm ma I've been making these videos I've been dropping here lately. Them are parts of my uh, of this live videos, and I got one where I was talking about the industry, and I was saying how 21 Savage just exposed a lot of them Atlanta rappers about being gay, and I said nobody wasn't gonna touch him. You get what I'm saying? So they got the government to touch him. What about Nancy Pelosi? Um, you know, I don't, I don't trust Democrats. I don't trust them. I don't trust Republicans. I know that they really are the same. They got the same agendas at the end of the day, but at the same time, 
at least a Republican will tell you what the hell they want, what the hell they want for you. Them damn Democrats are sneaky. Them Democrats like being called savages. Yeah, that's crazy, right? That's crazy. I think, I think I'm finna put savage in my name, man, in honor of my brother 21, man. That's crazy. Was you in here the other day? Uh, Commission Mims, shout out Commission Mims, man. Uh, was you in here the other day, sis, when I was talking about 21? Shit. When going against Trump, they better watch it because, you know, you know what happens when people go against Vladimir Putin? You see what happens to them. That's all I'm going to say because I don't want anything bad to happen to me. And, you know, people can say what they want. Oh, bro, they not worried about you. You're just another. Nah, fam. I'm not going to risk my life or my family's life because I know the things I say hit home to certain people. You get what I'm saying? So I'm not just going to say anything on here. But um, I'm kind of buff, buffing fat. What's good, M411? Hey, I got my sisters up in here. Beautiful empresses up in here, man. The queens. That don't surprise me. And I'm going to go check that out right when we get off of here. That don't surprise me. You know, I'm the average, I'm the average dude from the hood, y'all. I got two phones. And both of them dead. Both of them dead. And I'm on the third one. And I'm streaming on I can't go check it out. I wish I could have checked it out real fast, though. But, yeah, I, I don't. That don't surprise me. He was convicted of a felony, what he expect. He got convicted of a felony five years ago, sis. He got convicted of a felony five years ago. So, shit. They should have been. They been knew he was illegal. But at the same time, he's more illegal than a European. He's more legal over here than any one of these European immigrants. Because in all actual fact, he was stolen from here, took him over there. So coming back, he should be allowed. I mean, think about how many illegal immigrants that, that like the real illegal immigrants, them the ones they need to get out. Right. Yo, yeah, indeed. May be charged five years ago, but convicted recently. Nah, he never been convicted recently. Not that I know of. He ain't convicted recently. Not that I know of. I ain't heard of 21 Savage going to jail. But at the same commission, ma'am, it's not the fact that he was illegal immigrant. Because you see that even Trump is offering the so-called dream, the so-called uh, dream children or whatever the hell they call them, dreamers. Even Trump is offering dreamers three years of sanctuary over here. You get what I'm saying? They're on you get what I'm saying? They only tripped on 21 Savage because his mother got a visa. But if she would have snuck him into the country, they wouldn't have deported him. That's the thing. 2014, but been here since 2000. Been here since 2005. He been here since he was a kid. Just like all the rest of these illegal immigrants. Trying to trick us, right? But really, I look at that as a life lesson. I look at that as a life lesson. He was here on a work visa. Yeah. No, no, no. His mother... His mother was here on a work visa. I don't know where she's at. Maybe she left back, but he never left. You get what I'm saying? But he was a child when he when he came here. He wasn't old enough for a work visa. He was a minor. 21 Savage came here as where um uh, which one is that where I got the speech? Okay, that new Martin Luther King video I just came out. When I got Frederick Douglass speech where he's saying that these people claiming to be from other places that they eventually the government can just take y'all, take us and just take us to whatever place we claim it. Like, since we don't want to be American, I who you are. That's, that, that was a good video, too. Appreciate it. Yet they letting the illegals in and get lost in our country every day. That's what I'm saying. Yes. That's what I'm saying. You see, they wanted to put a so-called... Man, this is the thing, though. First of all, y'all, I didn't want to get on this, but let's be honest. They only did that to 21 Savage because he exposed them Atlanta rappers. And I'm going to be all the way honest. They only did that to 21 Savage because he exposed them Atlanta rappers. And on the flip side, y'all have heard me say this before. Any so-called black man with a lot of power, with a lot of power and a lot of influence, they will do something to him. Whether... Whether it be deportation, we haven't seen anybody get deported since Marcus Garvey. They like federal, they like hitting us with the RICO Act. They like 
uh, putting fake charges on us. So any black man, so-called black man with a lot of power, like 21 Savage, they will do something to them, no matter what they do. You get what I'm saying? No matter if he had a charge or not, they were going to get 21 Savage up out of here because that little nigga had a lot of power. He pissed off someone. I'm telling you, man, he pissed off. Listen, if y'all don't know, Pimp C, the rapper Pimp C from out here, Trill ENT out here in um, Texas, man. They killed Pimp C for saying the same thing that 21 Savage said. That's proof right there. 20, Pimp C got on a uh, news station and said, man, them niggas down there in Atlanta is gay. I know every single one of them niggas that's gay. I will expose them niggas. He said, I ain't going to drop no names, but just know, if y'all keep saying y'all the South, keep on speaking on my name, I'm going to expose you niggas. Next thing you know, Pimp C was dead. And the same thing goes for 21 Savage. They couldn't touch him. And y'all can check at the backlogs. Look, I just said this a week ago, y'all. I just said this a week ago. I said 21 Savage just exposed them Atlanta rappers for being gay. And turn around, I said nobody ain't going to touch 21, though. Because he going to keep his squad around him. He going to keep Slaughter Gang around him. And the little niggas really about that. And now, look, a week later, they didn't deported him. Because they're gonna find some way to get you. You get what I'm saying? They gonna find they gonna find some way to get you, one way or another. They don't give a damn how they get you. If you got power and you're so-called black, they're gonna get you. Uh, where is that six nine dude from? Six nine is Dominican, but he from New York. They also want you to think this border nonsense will affect your favorite rapper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yep, you said that. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah, I already. Already built on that, man. And I didn't even, I'm not going to sit here and lie and say I foreseen them deporting him because, of, yeah, I knew his name was a Muslim name. I knew he had an old funny name. I have been seeing 21 Savage's name. I knew his name was funny, but I never in my life thought that 21 Savage wasn't from here. I never thought that at all. But I did know that he has, he has said what he said about the Atlanta rappers being gay. And I knew something was finna happen to him. But I knew nobody wasn't going to touch him. Because he keeps Slaughter Gang with him. And that's just facts. That's big facts. Was he born in New York? Uh, I don't I don't know. k Mim, stop trying to get... Hey, damn. I really did not mean to go live, y'all. I got this... I got... Um, I got the funniest... I made... It, I didn't make the compilation. Let me not lie. But I'm finna make a compilation video of the funniest memes about 21 Savage. And on one of them, they got Takashi 69 sitting in court. And they like, man, I think <laughs> he like, man, I don't, I don't wanna be, I don't wanna be pointing the fingers or nothing, man. But 21 Savage ain't got no visa. That shit was funny as hell. But yeah, Takashi 69 is legal. That nigga name is Daniel. Man, you know that nigga ain't no damn real immigrant. That nigga name is Daniel. Never would have thought that. Yeah, never in a million years. Yeah, but uh, K Mims, I think that nigga is from. Uh, I think he was born out here, because that nigga named Daniel ain't no Mexican. I don't know no Mexicans from Mexico. I know Dominicans from Dominican Republic named Daniel. They real name Daniel. Hell no. Nah. But um, yeah, man, that that was crazy right there. I peeped that shit. I swear, I I really called that shit a week ago. I say, man, because I knew that was important. The industry is fucked up. The industry got a whole bunch of gay blades in it. Y'all know how the industry is. You know what I'm saying? At the same time, you can't just speak on that shit. You can't just speak on that shit and don't think something gonna happen to you. That shit happened to him for the sole purpose of him speaking out, speaking out about the industry, man. He got besides himself. I swear to God. If he would have kept doing his thing and not speaking out against what's going on, Think about it, man. Think about it. And then he just made another video saying, saying these rappers, these rappers, none of these niggas don't run Atlanta. Don't be, don't be believing these rappers. They don't run Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? He's steady shooting shit out there, man. What happened? He gone. I wouldn't, I wouldn't. Oh, no, he said them niggas snitches. He was talking about them Atlanta niggas. I'm going to do a little compilation. I'm going to put his videos in there where he's exposed that shit. About them niggas being gay in where he just made the one talking about them niggas was snitches. He kept calling somebody a rat. So he knew something was finna happen. He kept saying, man, these niggas rats. Man, these niggas rats. These niggas rodents. 
These niggas rats. He kept on saying it. The gays run run the industry. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, indeed. Already know it. Already know it. It's been like that. It's been like that. Bow Wow, them all them little niggas got raped. B2K, them all them little niggas got raped. It's been like that. My bad, my bad, y'all. I was looking at a notification. I think that's why some of his fans are disappointed because he talking about killing, drug selling, bash women, and he not from here. I read he was 13 years old when he got here. Yeah, I can, I can, I can believe that. At the same time, at the same time, we should take a lesson from that. We should take a lesson that just because a person is saying that they are a certain thing, just because a person has the lingo, just because a person has the image, doesn't mean that person is really who they say they are. You get what I'm saying? We should take that literally and apply that to these YouTubers, apply that to these other rappers, apply that to these politicians, apply that to, hell, your neighbors. Just because a person, a person can say anything. A person can say or, or, or give the, give the, uh, the image or give the, give, make it seem like they're anything or anybody, but don't trust these people. And I swear, I'm, I'm coming out with it. I don't know if I already just made a video saying the same exact thing I just said, but I'm, I bet I did in the last couple of days because it's right on my mind. Because I don't know, this shit just fall in place, y'all. I be already, I'm, I'm, I'm playing chess out here, y'all. So I'm knowing, I'm, I'm knowing these images on YouTube, man. I'm knowing these images aren't what they seem. I'm always watching. I know these people ain't. Yeah, they knew he was sis. Yes, they knew he was illegal. Think about it. He called a drug charge in 2014. He called a drug charge in 2014. Why they didn't deport him? I've been in prison. I tell y'all that all the time. Listen, when an illegal immigrant commits a crime, they get deported. No matter if they serve time, no matter if they uh, bond out, no matter if they beat the charge, no matter if they get time served, they get deported. Every last one of them. Every last one of them. I don't care how much time they do. You can do 50 years and you're going to get deported after you get done with that 50 years. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah, don't, don't, don't never think for one second that they didn't know that man was here. They knew he was here. And they allowed him to be here because he was propagating their message. He was bringing part of that deaf culture. You get what I'm saying? Just like, I ain't going to say too much about them rappers. You know, because I don't want to have to bend and body one of them little niggas. I swear. I don't want to have to body none of them rappers. But at the same time, you know, a lot of these dudes is propagating things they don't really do in real life. Think about it. They, they, look how they boosting up Soldier Boy right now. Look how they trying to boost up Soldier Boy right now. They ran me off the women's lingerie aisle. The gays do play, LOL. Ha, ha, ha. You funny, sis. What kind of lingerie? What kind of lingerie we got? Kamisha, what I mean, K Mims, what kind of lingerie we got? Um, they don't speak on the Jews and the gays. Yeah, you can't speak on that. You can't speak you can't speak about the elite and you can't speak about the homosexual industry. And now, think about it, y'all. Now you can't speak about flat earth. Do you get what I'm saying? You can't even speak about flat earth no more. So we gotta we gotta realize. Then I just dropped the list. I read the article and dropped the list about the ten things you can't nine things you can't talk about. And look, you really can't talk about these things. You get what I'm saying? Them nine things you really can't talk about them. You really getting banned off YouTube now. You really getting banned off of your regular life. They'll ban you out your life. Just have you a vagabond out here. Yeah, so sad. Indeed. Like the, that's why they call it a rap game. Oh, never mind. I don't, I don't need to be talking about that. I ain't going to talk about the industry, y'all. But anyway, y'all, for the other new people that just came up in the stream, like the stream. You know, share the stream if you can. They don't send my notifications out because YouTube are some haters. YouTube is some haters. That's why I'm not on YouTube. I'm streaming from another app. 
and it's just showing up on my channel, man. Like, like the stream, drop a topic in the chat. We can build on whatever. What topics y'all got for me? Any topic y'all want? What's up, River? Oh, did they see my uh, top? I mean, this still? They still ain't sent my notification out, y'all. Question everything. Peace. What's good? What's great? What's good? What's great? What go down? And what go up? What topics you got for us? The regular stuff, but they looking to see what I'm buying. What I'm buying. Oh, man. Oh, you say Nancy Pelosi. I told you I hadn't. I didn't even know about that, sis. Gloria Lawrence. Peace, sis. Hey, we got a sister chat today, man. Great to see all my sisters. Beautiful sisters up in here, man. Shout out to the sisters. Much love. Uh, what was I going to say? Um... I haven't, I, I, you, you just brought that to my attention. The Nancy Pelosi thing, I will be checking it as soon as I get off the stream. Nancy Pelosi, but man, you got to watch. Like, I don't even want to speak out. Just, just peep what happens to people who go against Vladimir Putin. If y'all don't know me personally, I feel like Donald Trump is going to win again in 2020. And then what we should be worried about is what's going to happen from 2020 on. Because at the end of the day, is this man going to leave? Is this man going to leave from, from out of the office or is he going to stay? You get what I'm saying? If he declares this state of emergency, do y'all know he can operate all kinds of shit? He can change laws or whatever. You know, if they don't approve this man money by the 15th, if they don't approve this man money by the 15th, not only will the government back, be back shut down, but this man is going to declare a state of emergency. AKA martial law, which I predicted what three weeks ago when we was barely 20 something days into Into this I was telling y'all hey y'all be prepared man. We need to get the fuck about these cities Martial law might be on the way martial law coming soon. Come on y'all like I don't just be pulling shit out of my ear and just You know say it. I be you know studying. I be really studying I just seen this link that said New Jersey requires schools to teach students about the LGBT history Wow, New Jersey, New Jersey law requiring school schools to um, teach their teach the children about LGBT history. What kind of shit is that? And that's another thing, y'all. Much respect to the homos. Much respect to the to the uh, whatever y'all call yourselves. But at the same time, y'all, why is it that they always want to compare? What the hell is going on with that community and compare that to so-called black, so-called African-Americans? I find that weird. I find that inhumane. I found that weird and inhumane. We ready in Marshall. Is ready here in 1933. Okay, already here in 1933. Yep, I saw that too. Yep, indeed. Trump is back in that. Venezuela is not looking good either. I better file my tax. Girl, you better file them taxes, girl. I went and filed mine. The day after we uh stayed up all night talking, you better go file them taxes, girl. Well, I didn't file them. Y'all know I don't, I don't do paperwork. I don't deal with paperwork at all. Hell, I don't even. I got my title to my car. I, I put. Look, when I get a title, when I go buy a new vehicle, y'all, I put my title in an envelope. I lick it. I seal it. Write the name of the car on it. Go drop it off at my T. Jones house. If y'all don't know what a T. Jones is, that's my mother's house. I go drop it off at my T. Jones house, and I don't even deal with it. I don't go get my car registered or none of that shit. I do not deal with the pale skins paperwork, y'all. Like, I'm, I wouldn't say things unless I really live by it myself. I don't deal with paperwork at all. But anyway, let me, uh, Trump is down. Yep, better find my text. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's supposedly the last president. Oh, yeah, indeed. Right, I just got my W-2. Okay, okay, yeah, file them taxes, girl. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, say, y'all, because I don't want y'all to think y'all brothers a lot. I know, a, I mean, shit, a lot of y'all in the chat has donated to my channel. I don't know what the hell is going on with YouTube, y'all. I checked my AdSense account. It says I have $6 in there, y'all. None of my super chats went to it. Or nothing like I don't know where the money is disappearing to YouTube has not paid me y'all that's why I'm not I don't have a laptop that's why I don't have a webcam I don't know what's going on with YouTube I don't know if they scam the fuck out of my channel or what y'all excuse my language 
But hey, y'all, this is, I don't know what the hell is going on. Nobody else, none of these other channels reach out to me so I can ask them how this shit work. But I went to my AdSense account, y'all. I don't have any money in it. There's only $6 there. I don't know where the hell my Super Chats uh, disappeared to. I don't know where the hell my ad revenue disappeared to. I don't know where none of the money at, y'all. Like, that is crazy. Y'all know we supposed to be on a laptop right now. We supposed to have a webcam set up. I'm supposed to be clear. You get what I'm saying? I don't, I really, honestly, I don't know how to work this shit like that. Y'all know I just started this a month or two ago. But at the same time, y'all, something's fishy. Something's very fishy. And that, I don't want to call the sister a B word, but I almost called her a B word. But Cardi B got me a fucking copyright strike for some shit that wasn't even copyrighted when I posted, y'all. Cardi B flagged my channel and tell Offset I want smoke. If I see Offset, I'ma slap him for getting my damn channel flagged. For his gal getting my channel flagged. Right, W2, yes I had. They keep 40% of those super chats you gotta keep track of. No, I'm, I'm saying I know, I know that they keep part of the super chat. I'm saying I can't find none of it. Like they haven't sent none to my, uh, my AdSense. What's up, uh, text to text, peace. True OC, peace, what's good, what's good, cousin? I think that's the true OC, I can't tell. Is that Oak Cliff Tiff? Uh, Indigenous 56 Ace, peace, bro. Peace, everybody. Halito, well met. Great to have y'all up in here. Maybe they sent out my notification now. I don't know. I know that nobody said they got my notification. Yeah, but I don't know. I'm trying to get a laptop, y'all, so I can I can keep up with these other channels in producing content. Like, I love producing content. I got a lot of shit on my phone I'm ready to, to drop, but it's just like it's so damn hard. And um, I have no idea, y'all, where the hell my money is going. Like, where the ad revenue I'm not even gonna call it my money. Where the channel's money is going? Like I don't get it. I checked the AdSense account, and it's just not there. I don't know. It says six dollars is there. No notifications. Yeah, they they tripping. Gay is the new black. Every black person from all over the world, when they get here, they are African American, aka black. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Indeed, indeed. Peace, everybody. Great to have y'all up in here, man. Y'all drop y'all topics. Drop y'all topics in the chat. Thumb up that chat. Y'all know, let's get to it, man. Let's build. I'm only going to be here for so long. Uh, tonight or, or this morning, whatever y'all perception is, to me it's nighttime. You know, I don't get tired. But anyway, comment down below any topic y'all want to. Let's build. Yeah, I know they're not sending out my notification. YouTube, some haters. YouTube is some haters. Uh, what I was finna say, what was we talking about though? Yeah, I don't, I have no idea where the hell the ad revenue is going. I have no idea where the hell the super chat is going. So, you know, I don't even want any super chats, y'all, until I figure this shit out. I don't want people dry donating money and, you know, it ain't going towards the channel. I don't know where the hell it's going. I don't know what YouTube is doing with that money, but it ain't coming to me. It ain't going to my AdSense account. But there is no comparison to gay and black. Oh, no, there's no comparison at all. That's just what the media, you know, they trying to say, they want to give these people a, you get what I'm saying? My wife just told me that they're, they're, they're making New Jersey schools teach our children. And I'm not even from, y'all hear me say our and us and we, even though I'm not from there and never been to New Jersey. But at the same time, they're trying to teach our children about homosexual history. Like what kind of shit is that? They better be teaching them where it came from. That it came from old, from old Greek. That that's a Greco-Roman tradition. If they're gonna teach them the history, don't try to make it seem like that's an American thing because it's not. That shit wasn't over here on these shores. You get what I'm saying? We had more women than men. It's always been women available over here, and that's a fact. I never get notification. That's why I told you turn it off, brother. I told you turn it off, brother. Wow. All of them, our Michelle Obamas is Michael. Yeah, I heard, I heard that before. I heard people say that before. I haven't, you know, did my own research on it. I mean, she looked like a woman to me. I don't know, but shit. Then again, uh, you get what I'm saying? So I don't know. Hell if I know. Now, now one thing I do know, Bobby Hemmett. Like I said, y'all gonna hear me refer to this. Ten years ago, back before any conspiracies about these people happened. Bobby Hemmett did say Obama, Barack Obama was a homosexual. 
I can vouch for that. I got that on record. Bobby Hemmett, 10 years ago, a whole decade ago, said that uh, Barack Obama was a homosexual and he had pictures of the dude he got caught up with. He had pictures of the article where the dude he got caught with came up dead. If y'all haven't heard about that, uh, I'm not going to do a video about it because I ain't trying to get smoked. But at the same time, Bobby Hemmett exposed that about a decade ago. So I don't know anything about Michelle Obama, but I know for a fact Bobby Hemmett said um, Barack Obama was gay. Yeah, his lover dead. Yeah, he came up dead. Do you think Jesse Jackson had something to do with Reverend King's death and classifying us as African Americans? That's a that's an absolute fact that he had that he got us classified as African American. That's a guaranteed fact. There is no thinking about that, sis. But at the same time, on the flip side, I don't know anything about King's death. I do know King was part of the government created imagery program. That's all I know. I don't know anything pertaining to his death. I don't know anything pertaining to Malcolm's death. Hey, I just know them brothers got smoked. That's all I know, but I don't know who or how did it. Matter of fact, I have my thoughts on Malcolm's death, on El Haj Malik Shabazz's death, but I'm not never going to speak on him on the internet. You know, that's my personal views. You know, that's that's a, that was a wise brother to me also. I looked up to Malcolm X, but at the same time, three men came up dead at his church. Wow. His love is dead. Wow. Did y'all hear about this politician? Where these homosexuals keep getting found in his house dead? These black homosexuals keep getting found in this, this old white politician's house dead? Did y'all hear about that? Hey, Yvonne White. Peace, sis. Peace, sis. What's good, Empress? What's good, Queen? What's great, y'all? Great to have all my sisters up in here. We up in here dead as usual. All the sisters gonna always come up in here and I love y'all. I appreciate y'all for coming through building. Drop y'all topics down below. Let's build any topic. Let me see. Yeah, I don't know anything about that death. And I really, you know, if I, if I did, I probably wouldn't even speak on it, sis. Not on here. No fucking notification again. No sellout. Peace. No fucking notification again. My G at Indigenous Realists, I heard about that politician. No arrest. Shaking my head. Oh, yeah, they're, they're not going to arrest them. These dirty politicians won't get arrested. You get what I'm saying? These dirty politicians won't get arrested. Um, And 411, I know you know. What's the lady name who's supposed to be the new Obama? I know I made a post and said I was going to talk about this the other day. But I found out that I may possibly have a heart condition, y'all. So I didn't want to get on stream and get too hype and croak on stream, you know what I'm saying, so anyway, but I'm good, y'all, forget what they talking about, I've been eating a little healthier, you know, I've been exercising, I've been walking, I'm not gonna let these honkies tell me I'ma die, you get what I'm saying, when I give up on myself, that's when I'ma die, when I believe what a honky tells me, when I believe what a pale face tells me, that's when I'll die, until then, the creator got me, y'all, the most high got me, at the end of the day, so I'm not rocking with that, um, Okay, okay, all my sisters, all right, they all know it. Uh, come out, uh, Kamala Harris. Say, y'all, we cannot fall for that shit again. How many times are we gonna fall for these so called Democrats when these the same motherfuckers that didn't want slavery to end? Excuse my language, y'all. Excuse me, excuse my English, y'all. Y'all know I'm new at speaking English, now I'm playing. Excuse my English. Hey, why are we falling for the same Democratic tricks? They always gonna hype up a, a Negro, and that's all they are in their eyes. Think about it. The white man always gonna look at us like a Negro. At the end of the day, we're just a nigga in their eyes. So what the hell? What kind of power is she gonna have to change anything? We got better. We got better chances of getting shit changed with Trump. She's just another Negro, and I'm sorry. I'm not disrespecting a sister. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong, y'all. I'm not disrespecting a sister, but at the same time, I'm disrespecting. Her political stance, which is not, which is gonna be nothing but a Negro once she gets to office. That's all they think of us. When the Barack Obama was up there, they didn't think like, oh my God, a black man is smart, educated, um, well respected. Now they say we got a nigga in the office. We got a Negro up here. This Negro, we ain't gonna let this Negro do nothing. And that's the same way they're gonna do this lady. We're not gonna get anything done with her. You know, I don't know if any of y'all vote. I personally don't, but at the same time, y'all, 
we can't let nobody hype us up into voting for color and voting for a smooth silver tongue, a little slick tongue. Y'all might as well vote me up in that motherfucker. You get what I'm saying? At the at, on the real, y'all might as well vote me up in there. Hell, you mean I'm have I'm turn the White House to a Black House? Hell, you mean? But now I'm playing. At the same time, we can't fall for that trick again. I'm not voting for her. The Jesse Smollett shit was behind the Democrats, and that fool said he the gay Tupac. Wow, long life. Don't you believe that shit? Yeah, she looked white to me. You never will. You will never die believing in yourself. Oh yeah, indeed. Yeah, I ain't worrying about them honkies. We're not spitting. Do you know that the flag that is? Do you know about the flag that is on my avatar? Uh, actually, bro, we are not spinning. I'm not on a YouTube app. I'm streaming from another app, so I can't see your avatar. But um, comment the name of the flag, bro. You probably do know it because I study about flags and things of that nature. So uh, just comment the name of that flag. If I know it, I'll say I know it. If I don't, I'll tell you I don't. I actually can't see the avatar, bro. I'm not on YouTube. I'm on a uh, streaming app. Yeah, but I ain't going to believe no pale face telling me I'm finna die, y'all. I be damned. Uh, what's good though? Jose, uh, John, John River said it. Indeed, three men came up dead at his church. Oh yeah, indeed. Hillary, Hillary has pictures with him. He got a bow tie on too. Who? K. Mims. Who got on a uh, bow tie? Let me see. Do you know about that flag? Oh yeah, I don't know about that flag. Drop the comment, cause I can't see it. I'm not on YouTube right now. Don't you believe that shit? Yeah, I ain't gonna believe that shit. I'm not okay. Okay, does voting make any difference? I don't. I honestly think that voting. I honestly think that voting is the census. Voting is the census, not the census of the so-called races or the so the so-called demographics or whatever. It's the census of the mind. They want to see what the masses want. They could give a damn what you want. They just want to give us going to appease us at the end of the day. They just want to keep the masses appeased. So what they do is they're going to be like, I'm going to take a vote. We're going to see We're going to see what they want. We're going to give them whatever they want. If you want a female, we're going to give you a female. You want a uh, white man, we're going to give you a white man. You want a Jew, we're going to give you a Jew. If the masses want whatever they want, at the end of the day, the president doesn't run shit. But Donald Trump does, and that's the difference. That's why they so scared with Donald Trump in there, because he's showing them the same way Obama did. See, Trump can say what he want about Obama, but Obama was doing the same type things that Trump is doing right now. If y'all didn't know, Obama was just doing shit without nobody's permission. If y'all didn't know, like when they had that one American soldier who had went AWOL and he gave up like 10, like 10 terrorists or more or less. I don't know. He gave up like five or 10 terrorists to get that one American soldier back. He didn't get Congress permission. He didn't let them vote on it. He said, I, if that's an American, I want him back, period. And he did it. You get what I'm saying? People, that got swept up under the rug. I don't know if anybody remember that. Hey, y'all, my charger's not working for some reason. Let me reset the plug. Damn, man, I hate that this is happening. Conversation was getting kind of good. Peace to everybody that just, okay, okay, we got the charger back working. Peace to everybody that just came up in the stream. Like the stream. If anybody in here knows anything about um, Google AdSense and uh, monetize channels, comment. Let me know, y'all, because I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying to buy a laptop. I don't know what the hell is going on with my AdSense account. They're showing I only made $6, but I know for a fact that my Super Chats exceeded over $200, y'all. So they haven't gave me any of that. They ain't even acknowledging that anybody sent me money, y'all. So, you know, if anybody has any information on that, comment down below. He said he was the gay Tupac. But he did do something. He made executive orders. So when martial law come, government and control water, lock you up, up, hold you as long as they want and take all your rights. Obama was dirty. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Don't let them. Damn, I shouldn't be saying this, y'all. Don't let them confuse you. Obama paved the way for Donald Trump to come in and do what he's doing. That's what I was emphasizing, y'all. Obama paved the way. It looked like they don't like each other and all that. But when you see him in public, there's no animosity. There's no animosity. There's no fake smiles. You see genuine, you see genuine uh, admin, 
admonition. That's what they call it within Freemasonry. And know that they're both Freemasons. Know that Donald Trump tried to run the first time and he didn't win because he didn't possess the proper signs and the proper symbols. Now he does. So know that they're fraternal brothers. First of all, don't ever let that get confused. All of these politicians are fraternal brothers. You get what I'm saying? So don't don't let them don't let them make you think that they that they ain't cool with each other. They're all fraternal brothers and they can never they'll never take the stand on their brother. That's in they that's in their oath. They can never take the stand on their brother. Obama snuck in many Muslim sleeper cells. Oh yeah, are politicians just puppets? Oh yes, indeed they're just puppets. Uh, let me see. We we do not pick our president or vice president. Electoral college does that. Indeed. They just want to see the Democratic donor you were talking about with the two men found in his home. Yes, indeed. Check this out, y'all. Voting does absolutely nothing but census your mind. They just want to know what the masses want. They just want to know what we want. They don't give a damn what we want. They want to know. They want to keep everything appeased. Like, so... Yeah, you can you can you can change the uh, the sway of the vote. You can change the sway of the vote. You get what I'm saying about voting, but don't think that you're getting in somebody better because either, at the end of the day, whatever figurehead they place there will have the same agenda as any other figurehead figurehead that didn't get placed there. Do you get what I'm saying? It's only one agenda. Democrats and Republicans Republicans are the same. That's why I say Donald Trump is different. Just on the strength that he's not a politician. He's not a politician. He has no political background whatsoever. He didn't attend any political school. He didn't do any political. He's never even been a governor. He's never been a uh he's never been in the military. Like this dude is not a politician. He's not even but yet he's president. So that's something to watch. When you see something like that happen, and then look how hard they're going for the investigation. The only how they could be going this hard for the investigation, saying that he cheated at the polls, is for them to already have had that rig. Think about it. Excuse me. They wouldn't want him, they wouldn't be investigating so hard or, or trying to make the illusion that they're investigating so hard unless they already had it rigged. They didn't want Trump there. Don't ever think for one second that these white people wanted Trump there. The masses wanted him there. But at the same time, them people in Congress, these Democrats, these, these other honkies, some of them Republicans, they did not want Donald Trump there. So we got to realize that. I think it's worth voting vocally. Do you believe in not voting or not believing their narrative? I don't. I don't believe in beliefs. But at the same time, I don't go by their narrative at all for for any anything. I deal with higher sciences, so I, I go study for myself. I don't trust the I don't trust the pale face. You'll never see me going in their courtrooms. I've been in there and I always win without paperwork. You'll never see me file paperwork. You'll never see me going to these pale face courtrooms. I won't be taking medicine from these pale faces. I won't be etc. I don't trust them. At the same time, I don't trust them, y'all. Big facts. I don't trust them at all. Um, but for the presidential note, some channels use PayPal and Patreon. Yeah, I turned on my Patreon. Nobody has came over there yet. Well, one person did. One person came to my Patreon so far. But at the same time, people have donated over two hundred dollars to my channel, and I've I've um my channel also generated a bunch of ad revenue. So at the same time, they haven't paid me. At all, you get what I'm saying? I should have a webcam and a laptop for my channel, and that's the only thing I wanted to do with the money. I don't need it for anything but for the channel. And they slowing my channel down by holding the money. I don't know what's going on. They're holding the revenue, so therefore my channel isn't growing. I don't know what's going on. Um, Trump cousins with the Clintons. I can believe that. Ignore the typos. Oh yeah, indeed. Obama would. Uh, Obama went nowhere. He, Either because he still holds the seat, he gave himself to the UN Security Council. Oh yeah, 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 indeed. Um, yes, indeed. Stevante Clark is running for Sacramento mayor. Even we are officially in the twilight zone. Wow. Well, this is a corporation, Trump corporate. Oh yeah, indeed. You have put a lot of work in. Oh yeah, indeed. Oh yeah, indeed, sis. I be getting it in. That's why. That's why so many people hate me. It ain't. Don't don't never think it's for my information. Don't ever think it's for me as a person. 
they mad because my channel, like they say, popped out of nowhere, and I got almost 300,000 views. I really have over 300,000 views. I have at least 50 videos on private. I have 123 videos visible. That's why I hate when people come in my chat. They come inside, they come up under my comment section, y'all, on my newest videos saying, why ain't you talking about this? Why ain't you talking about that? Listen, brother, sister, go to some of the old videos. I got 123 videos visible on my channel. I have 50-something videos private on my channel. Stop sleeping on me. Don't tell me because I'm producing some new content that I haven't talked about something. I know y'all haven't watched 103 videos. I mean, 123 videos. You get what I'm saying? They crazy what they got to do with us. KKK leader found dead on the banks of Missouri. Salute. Salute to them that, that killed that, that honky on, down there at the banks of Mississippi, I mean Missouri, man. Salute. We, got, we already got one now. A few more to go. They probably gonna ban my channel for that, y'all. I'm just joking, y'all. That's no, that's that's joking, y'all. I'm joking. I don't care about the hunky dying. I'm nonviolent, y'all. You know, I just believe in defending ourselves to the complete, in the most complete and deadliest fashion you can. If somebody tries to hurt you, you defend yourself in the complete and deadliest, totally destroy them. But at the same time, I'm nonviolent, y'all. I don't teach violence. I don't. You know, participate in violence at the same time, y'all. I'm going to protect and defend myself and my people and my family. So at the same time, y'all, but hey, shout out to them brothers that murked that Ku Klux Klan brother down there in Missouri. No, I'm playing, y'all, but shout out. Salute to them brothers murked that Ku Klux Klan member. Um, okay, okay, let's go. Yeah, you have put in a lot of work. Yeah, like. Yeah, like, yeah, I know I have, sis. They be sleeping on me. Let them keep on sleeping. Them subscribers going up. You know what I'm saying? We're going to have 10,000 subscribers in less than three months. I don't think nobody done did that. You know what I'm saying? I, we on the road to 10,000, y'all. I've been on here since November 24th. I've been on YouTube. I've been producing content since November 24th. And they steady hating on me. They sleeping on me. You get what I'm saying? I got channels way bigger than mine. It's attacking me. For what? Because they scared. They see that growth. That growth is real. That message is real. But anyway, y'all, um, you have put in a lot of work indeed. Are indigenous Freemasons truly accepted and respected by the rest of them or, or just being used? No, True OC. Peace to you, True OC. I be calling you cousin because I be thinking you're my cousin. Um, um, Oak Cliff Tiff. But shout out to you, Troll C. No, bro. Listen, Freemasonry. Check out my Freemasonry video. Check out. Shit, I got a few Freemason videos. Check them out. Freemasonry is created for free white men by free white men. They do not respect a nigga. They do not respect black, so-called black or Negro Freemasons. Because they stole the, the knowledge. Think about it. They stole ancient masonry and created modern freemasonry out of it true oc so at the same time why would they respect somebody who comes from the ancients and yet alone wants to get inside of their new world order group you get what i'm saying that group isn't for us freemasons are for free white men by free white men that was something given to them and the other little shit they had they stole it you get what i'm saying we gave them a few degrees they stole the rest of them Hey, they don't even got all of them. They got a small percentage. So I don't see why a so-called black man, Negro, uh, indigenous, aboriginal, or any of us would choose to go deal with them Freemasons when they don't even have all the complete knowledge. You don't got to build with no hunky to be right and exact. That's the thing. People are so... That's why I be spazzing out. That's why I be spazzing out when somebody say that I'm a Freemason. Don't ever disrespect my family like that. We come from the ancients. We, we here from the ancients, brother. We don't... We don't deal with frat boys. We don't deal with fraternities. I ain't no. Do I look like a schoolboy to you? I don't deal with that shit. But yeah, bro, shout out. Uh, true OC. Uh, okay, okay. I don't have any debit uh, since my shit got hacked into. I'm gonna order some kind of Visa card and I will become a patron. Okay, appreciate it. Shout out to you, and 411 I haven't even uploaded anything yet to Patreon because I don't have any patrons. But at the same time. I got some bad shit that's going to be only available over there on Patreon. And I don't have a limit up. I think you can join for a dollar, two dollars. I don't even know. 
But I don't have a limit up on my Patreon, y'all. Because I want everybody to be able to afford to come over there. But I'm going to be putting my personal genealogy up on the screen. Over there, I'm going to be putting up me and my mother. Visited our ancestral burial grounds. One of them. We have multiple right here in Texas. Like real huge mounds, y'all. Like when you come to them, y'all, you can tell that they flatten off the top. But it's at a steep increase, y'all. It looked like a... It looked like a damn flat top pyramid. I swear to God, right here in Hearst, Texas. Right here in Hearst, Texas, y'all. We got a burial mound. Ancient burial mound is protected by the uh, historical sites and everything. I got it on camera. Me and my mother went out there the other day. You know, we been uh, we got our genealogy. You know what I'm saying? I got, I got four different lines of my genealogy. Steady been studied and worked on right now as we speak. You get what I'm saying? So... Hey, I'm gonna have some good content over there on Patreon, y'all. Don't sleep on the Patreon, but I am gonna, I'm gonna trickle a little bit, but I gotta watch these people on YouTube, man. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, thanks for sharing your knowledge so openly. Oh yeah, indeed, True OC. It's much love. I'm not under open obligation, bro. I'm gonna come with that knowledge. If the right questions are asked, y'all gonna get an answer. You get what I'm saying? I'm not under no oath, no obligation to now one of these frat, none of one of these frats. You know what I'm saying? Thanks. Okay, okay. I only been making vids for a year and made 570 vid 74 videos. Shit crazy, huh? Oh yeah, I be seeing you, sis. I get your notifications. I be getting so many. But I know you be seeing me come to your channel and show you love. That's always, sis. I support my own, man. I support y'all for real, for real. But I, yeah, I see you. you. Put up two, three videos every damn day. You be getting it in. That's why I need a laptop so I can keep up. I be on the phone, y'all. It literally. Y'all see them 10 minute videos I be making? I really be wanting to make hour long videos. It takes me five hours. It takes me five hours, y'all, to make one video on my cell phone. I hope y'all know that. It takes me five hours to make one video on my cell phone. I be here for five, six hours. If I do a 20 minute video, I'm gonna be on this phone for all day trying to make one video, y'all, cause it's so hard. If y'all don't know that, that's why I'm saying I need somebody to help me figure out how the hell to get the money that my that people sent me to get a laptop. You get what I'm saying? And also my aloe vera plant. I still haven't even got my aloe vera plant. And that was like my first donation. Um, I'm personally done with politics. All we are doing by voting is enslaving ourselves even more. Left wing, right wing, same dirty shit. Same dirty chicken. Indeed, question everything. That's what I'm saying. I don't deal with that shit. I don't deal with that court systems. Listen, like I, I say all the time, listen, I don't need that honky's permission to do anything. So if I want to go and live free on the land upon the mind, a name that I choose for myself, teaching my culture to my family, my friends, and my children, I can do that without the white man's permission. I don't have to go to court and change any documents or file any affidavits and do nationality and all of that buffoonery. I don't believe in none of that shit. Excuse my language, but I don't believe in none of that shit. That shit is a setup. I've seen too many people go to prison for filing that paperwork, y'all. You cannot beat somebody on their home field. And this ain't no damn sports. I'm talking about when you're dealing with court, it's a war zone. It's a magical battlefield out there. You can't beat these honkies inside their courtroom. You on their battlefield. Has anybody read the, these people teaching this law and these this outdated law? Let me state that. All of this shit they saying is so outdated, y'all. Like, I study law. And that's why I know it's not necessary. You get what I'm saying? You can function outside of the law as long as you're not breaking it. As long as you're not... Uh, an enemy of the state you get what I'm saying we don't have to be out there lawless I'm lawless but you don't have to be savage you get what I'm saying savage as far as like messing with people babies you know that's a no-no you know um, stealing is a no-no you know you can't just be killing people you know that's a no like you don't need a law to tell you that it's about your nature it's about your civilized nature yeah we savage in a, in a certain way but we civilized in a lot more ways I don't, I'm not into thinking that we were savages. I think we were civilized and that the people that came here were savages. And they didn't understand us. You get what I'm saying? In my mind, in my studies, we were the civilized people on the planet Earth. Matter of fact, we civilized the whole planet. Excuse me. Ain't no damn planet Earth. We civilized this whole plane called Earth. 
Yeah, we ain't doing no sleeping. Sleep when we die. Hell, hell you mean? Yeah. Only being making videos. Okay, I personally am done with politics. Okay, okay. Hopefully they lynch that KKK guy. Yeah, I hope they lynch that honky. Excuse my language, y'all. I'm just, I'm just joking. I'm just joking, y'all. I am um, go back, look at your old videos, not seen. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Check me out, Yvonne White. I've been, you know, I've been producing content, y'all. They be saying I popped up out of nowhere. I didn't pop up out of nowhere. You don't pop up out of nowhere with no five. What? How much I got? I think I got like, man, I got a lot of subscribers, y'all. Like they steady coming. I really don't even keep track no more, y'all. I swear. But I'm, I'm. Don't get me wrong. I am keeping track. I'm pushing for ten. 10,000. That's why I'm asking people to share my content. Y'all see that nobody gets my notifications, y'all. And I'm thinking the same thing is going on because I have too many subscribers. Not for my videos. Every video I drop to hit a thousand something views. Every video I drop should do a thousand views, but it don't. So I know a lot of my subscribers don't even get notifications. And I'm cool as long as the people that do share my content. But anyway, mind of a Pequot 29 NATO to the land. Peace. Finally, bro, let's build indeed. Uh is he just playing? No, Shaq is a Freemason. You didn't see him listen. When you see anybody with an apron on, anybody with an apron, and if they not in the damn kitchen cooking with Martha Stewart, they are Masons. No matter what. If they wear an apron, they are a Mason, fam. That's just plain and simple. If they wear not a Mason, excuse me, they are free. Masons. They are free Masons, y'all. So Shaq is a free Mason. They're not going to give him no apron to play with. You get what I'm saying? He joined that lot. That wasn't just Shaq. Did you see the other player? Who was it? Um, uh, Scotty Pippen was there also. Did you peep Scotty Pippen? He's a Mason. He's a free Mason also. These brothers are running to this white man's lodge, and this white man's lodge can't save them. They are actually working with the devil to put their foot on our neck. If y'all ever hear me talk about Freemasonry, Freemasonry is made for the sole purpose of putting their foot on our necks, from keeping us from knowing ourselves. That's what it's about, propagating homosexuality, propagating uh, confusion and things of that nature, separation, things of that nature. You get what I'm saying? There's only one separation we need, and that's to be separated from this honky. That's the only separation. It shouldn't be division within our own you get what I'm saying? Desegregation was the worst thing ever happened to our people. Ever. But let's go. Let's go. I don't know how you do it on the phone. Yeah, yeah. It, that shit hard, sis. That shit is hard. I come out with an eight-minute video. No, I've been on the phone five, six hours trying to get that mug all right. At least decent. Um, let me see. I am go back to your old videos. Okay, yeah, check it out. They steal everything. Okay, okay. Um, how about Freemasons like Shaq? How about Freemasons like Shaq? Is he just playing? No, nah, that nigga not playing. He know the agenda. He know the agenda. He know their agenda. Them niggas, listen. That's what it be. These black, these nigga rogues that go join these Freemasonry lodges, they think it's a big game. They think, oh, I'm finna get my little ring. You know, I'm going to get my ring. I'm going to get my degrees. I'm going to go get my, my apron. I'm going to get a little sticker for my car. And they're all playing dress up. And they think it's just a game, but it's not a game. They they entering into a binding contract with the with Shaitan himself, with the essence of evil. They're entering into that. I'm telling you, when they take that oath, y'all, when they put themselves upon that oath and upon that obligation, they are entering into a lifelong contract with the most evilest force there is and i'm just gonna put it like that i ain't gonna get spooky i'm not gonna get religious because y'all know i don't rely on gin nor men at the same time y'all that oath they take that derives from the same oath of saint john i mean of king john the second if y'all check out my christopher columbus video y'all check out that christopher columbus video and that native american freemasonry video and also that george washington video i got with the Freemasonry and where I break down Uncle Sam and George Washington. And, and with them three videos, you'll know the agenda. You'll see what's the deal. You get what I'm saying? You'll see why I act the way I act when somebody calls me a Freemason. No, I'm a master mason of the most ancient right. And there's nothing free about it. You get what I'm saying? There's nothing free about masonry. You get what I'm saying? You're born a mason. You're not made a mason in a temple or in a lodge. You can't make a mason. 
you can make a Freemason. You can become a Freemason. You can't. You you only born a Mason, and white people aren't born Masons. That's why they don't got no M's in their hands. But anyway, uh, he um sleep. They still everything. Okay, okay, finally, bro. Let's be. Oh yeah, I'm here. Mind no pay. Why drop your drop your topic? That's what all the idiot idiots and that's what all the idiots in the AK are. Boule. Oh yeah, that's big facts. And I speak on them openly because they ain't gonna do anything to me. Niggas come to Texas, they'll never make it back to New York. And I'm not threatening anybody. I'm just saying if they got any kind of ill will towards me, you know, just don't come to Texas. You know what I'm saying? With it. Just like I ain't gonna come to New York with no ill will. They can't they not free to come out here with ill will at the same time. And that's on God. But uh Yeah, but yeah, them niggas boule, they they frat boys, they gay. Point blank period. 21 Savage, that's wild. Yeah, we built on that when we first came up in the stream, bro, about 21 Savage. Yeah, that's crazy right there, though. Family, did you see how RuPaul was at the Super Bowl running shit? I hope you addressed this gay issue, demasculating our black men, damn shame. I'm actually dropping a video tonight or early tomorrow or early today morning. This morning, y'all, I'm forgetting that it's already morning time. This morning, I will be dropping a video about that. About the boule and things of that nature, y'all. I will have my coonery song as the intro. You get what I'm saying? That's what that song coonery was about. It wasn't even about the song. It was about the imagery on there. I was showing and proving. And I put them all on there. You get what I'm saying? I put all of them. That's not even all of them. I put a small percentage of these coons on there. That's what the song coonery is about. It's really about the demasculation of the black man. That's what that song is about. The so-called black man. Excuse me. Um, let's go though. Let's go. Yeah, but I didn't watch the Super Bowl. I don't watch sports. I don't I don't participate in sports. I never played sports. I don't watch sports or anything. So I didn't see it, sis, but I will check it out. Yeah, he's yeah, that's uh, yeah, the YouTube YouTube is Troll Nation indeed. That's why I'm, um Subto Infinity did a recent boule video. His content is top quality, okay indeed. Uh, when these pale faces act disrespectful, how do we handle it in their manner, in the manner of your teachings? See, that's the thing. They can only, they, disrespect is a sign of no self-respect. So when they disrespect, you know that they don't respect themselves. So why even respond? You get what I'm saying? I don't deal with, listen, I don't deal with the pale face. I don't deal with honkies, y'all. Like, if they not going to respect themselves, they can't even respect me, so why I shouldn't I respect myself and I love myself, so why would I even deal with them? I won't deal with them at all, but I won't even deal with them on a conversational level. If they can't respect me, that means they don't respect themselves. Anybody that respects themselves will naturally respect another person. You get what I'm saying? Like that's just off the rip. So yeah, that's that's how you deal with them. Maybe they don't add the super checks into the AdSense total until payday. That's what I'm saying. I don't even know the payday. They told me it was going to be the end of last month. I, that's why I kept saying we're going to have a laptop this month. But shit, they haven't, they haven't added anything. They added $6 to my AdSense account. Like, that's it. They put $6 in there. And you can't even get the money off. I mean, what the hell? I left it there anyway. But you can't even get it off to it's past 100 But I'm telling you, I made like 100 times six dollars and they didn't put nothing in there and i made more than that i'm telling you i was gonna get a badass laptop webcam things of that nature y'all they just didn't i don't know what the hell is the deal copper tribe and no tribe peace what's good bro copper tribe and no tribe peace i ain't even see you up in here what's great um they would not send a check into your total value yeah i have way more than that sis this is why I hear though, because Google won't let me monetize my shit since I put songs in my vids. F them. Oh, okay, okay. Loopholes, indeed. That's why the pen is mightier than the sword. Indeed. Indeed, Copper Tribe and No Try. Soon books and paper will be obsolete. Not to me. Not to me, y'all. That's the that's the way. When they think that, that's the way we're gonna have to be communicating, passing notes, aka shooting kites. Like, that's going to be the only safe thing because the internet is ran by the government. Don't never get it in your mind that a VPN, that a, um, any of that shit is going to save you from the government watching. They watch every keystroke you do. 
every keystroke, every backspace, every space, every quotation mark, every period, dots. I'm telling you, don't never think, y'all. That's just made to have a sense of freedom. We don't have freedom. We have a sense of freedom. We are we are prisoners. I, I mean, y'all don't hear me talk like this no more, but I used to talk like this more in my older live streams. But I will bring some shit back right now. We are prisoners, y'all. Don't ever think that we're free. There is no free. There's only a sense of freedom. There's only a... A image of freedom. There's only a perception of freedom. But don't never think you're free from the richest to the poorest. We all in slavery over here. We're all slaves over here. Don't never think it. They're the half half of the slaves, half of them prisoners. And I'm not talking about the prisoners behind bars, even though we know there's millions upon millions of our people locked up behind bars right here in America. But at the same time, the people in the free are still slaves and are still prisoners but people don't want to hear stuff like that you get what i'm saying but anyway um mind of a pay what 9.99 for mind of a pay what appreciate it bro damn some people have 10k but struggle to even get 100 in their life oh yeah 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 i know my live streams i don't want my live streams to be a lot of people because i want to respond to every comment shout out to mind of a pay what for the donation uh, shout out to that brother for the donation. Appreciate it, bro. Much love. Shout out to mine of a Pequot. Yeah, bro, but they not even giving me them super chats. But I'm going to figure it out, though. Y'all ain't going to get ripped off. I'll be pulling up to YouTube and knocking on the on the front door of it. Um. Anyway, they, they make laws to change laws and turn around and break laws. That's why I'm saying we don't have to, we don't have to take part in their laws. We can function outside of the laws. You get what I'm saying? But you don't have to break them. Do you get what I'm saying? We don't have to participate in that shit. You only, you're only subject to laws when you subject yourself to it. If you don't subject yourself to laws, they don't apply to you. And I promise they don't. Some people have over 1K. Yeah, I don't want a lot of people up in my live streams. But my videos, my actual videos, they should be getting way more views. Uh, shout out again to Mind of a Pequot. Uh, Scotty Pippen, they are Boulay brothers, indeed. You real, a lot of people will not say that. Oh, yeah, indeed, Boulay, yes. Oh, you know, they never wanted to segregate being, they didn't want whites having sexual encounters. Oh, yeah, indeed. He wore a dress, too. Oh, yeah, indeed. What dress? What a dress? Uh, Boulay piece, baby girl. Oh, yeah, indeed. They give their manhood by wearing a dress. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you, Bobby Hemmings exposed that Boulay. 10 years ago, y'all, a decade ago, he said about the wearing the dress, about the getting shot in the ass on camera, Morton and um, Denzel Washington, about the wearing the dress, about playing gay roles. All of the black men, anybody that wants money, you're going to coon for a check. I'm going to drop the video, and it's just a compilation for my live streams where I already talked about this, but it's, it's showing and proving. Look at 21 Savage just got deported because he ain't cooning for a check. You get what I'm saying? Yes, he's bringing about deaf culture. That's cool. But they want to do something else. They want him to coon for a check. And he didn't do it. And look what happened. Um, Why are they trying to say there's no such thing as Benjamin Franklin? They don't say the rest aren't real. Man, these people are crazy, bro. Don't let anybody tell you that anybody in history wasn't real. You get what I'm saying? People try to say Christopher Columbus wasn't real. But I have actual factual documents on Christopher Columbus and he was real just like they're gonna say that Benjamin Franklin was real he was the, he was a, a Freemason come on man they know they know who Benjamin Franklin is only some only some half cock half brain niggeros will say that Benjamin Franklin didn't exist but a white person you'll never hear a white person say that and if they do they saying it just to add to the confusion but they know for a fact Benjamin Franklin existed they have letters from Benjamin Franklin. They have signatures from Benjamin Franklin. Uh, shout out again to uh, Mind of a Pequot. Indigenous 56 A's. Peace, bro. I ain't see you up in here. They they feel me of, of a man. Uh, I ain't see that what that was. Peace, Indigenous 56 A's. Indeed. Stop saying what you doing, vids on, brother, for peeps watching in the bushes. They steal ideas. I mean, we safe with the fans, but some don't speak. Oh, yeah, I already know. I already know they laying in the cut, sis. Do they have female Freemasons? No, they have Eastern Stars. 
um, Eastern Stars is a group based off of the five important women in the Bible. They have other female. Uh, they have other female groups too. You know the uh, daughters of the daughters of. Uh, there's there's other female groups. So a job consists of an apron. Could mean something more than just part of the uniform. Oh yeah, a lot of the times I ain't gonna say necessarily just a job, but I'm saying. Hell, a lot of, I'm saying this, when you see certain politicians and stuff, or you see certain regular people, or entertainers, and they're with Freemasons, and they're wearing, they're wearing what they call the light, light being a compass in a square, light being a ring, light being any, any kind of Freemason, Freemasonic symbol tree, they with them. Don't think that they just going to let these people wear them type of things and they not with them. They with them, brother. Eastern Star Witches or some shit. Oh, yeah, they got them all. They got them all. Peace. Uh, shout out again to Mino Pequot for the donation. For real, for real. They halfway house of the unconsciousness. Oh, yeah, indeed. Uh, yeah, I ain't going to be putting. I, I be peeping it, and don't, don't get it twisted. People are even saying some of the stuff that comes straight out of my videos. That's why I be putting my live streams on lock. And turning around and getting the getting the information that I want everybody else to have and making it into short videos, y'all. Just on the strength that people are taking shit in my live streams and making videos out of it. I peeped it already. That's why I put all my live streams from last year on lock because I seen people doing it already. But uh yeah, I peeped it, sis. Much love though. I'm asking because I know Hillary Clinton is one. Oh yeah, most indefinitely. Listen, all of them are. Any any anybody that functions with law, think about it. Any lawyer, any lawyer, y'all. Lawyer is Latin for liar, right? Any lawyer, y'all, they have to take an oath. Any police officer has to take an oath. Any judge takes an oath. Well, you know, you got to be a lawyer to be a judge. Any any lawyer, anybody dealing with law is under oath. Any police officer. Any police officer is under oath. Think about it. Doctors and nurses are under oath. So think about it, y'all. These people are under oath, and it's the same damn oath. Don't ever get it twisted. Don't ever get it twisted. Do y'all know that the bar, the bar is an actual fraternity and sorority order. It's not just something you have to pass the bar. No, it's an actual order. The bar is an order. You take an oath. For the bar. When a lawyer becomes a lawyer, they take an oath. So don't get it twisted, y'all. They all the same people. Yes, equal slaves to the system. Yes, indeed. Cassandra Zorn. Cassandra Zorn. Peace, sis. Great to have you up in here. Uh, shout out to everybody, man. This they shit. Indeed. Greetings, Grand Rising. Oh, I am you one Yenum. What's good? Great. Great to have you up in here, bro. Great grandson rising. I am... I am move nation of one, one love people, one planet, one plus one equals three equals one. Okay, indeed. One plus one don't equal no damn three, brother. Oh, one plus one plus one equals three. But uh, I get what you mean, though, brother. Google is government backed. Oh, yeah, most definitely. They data mining everything on YouTube. I'm talking about YouTube, your text messages, your emails, your Google searches, your every part of anything on a cell phone, anything on a computer, anything on a, your smart TV, it's all being watched, y'all. Don't never think it's different, y'all. Why are they giving out free phones from the government? Why do they give you free phones? Why do they give you free phones, y'all? Because they want everybody to have a phone. Because they want to know what everybody is thinking. They want to know what everybody is talking about. They want to know what everybody is Googling. Everybody is emailing about. Don't get it confused, y'all. Some of us are are in the in-house and some of us in the out-house. Uh, I don't know what you implying, brother. Yes, equal slaves to the system. Okay, okay. You never know what people want to watch. Indeed. What's what's good? What's great, sis? Um, 
wasn't Sammy Davis Jr. in that video too? Hell, if I know, I tried to fit all them coons up in there. I'm coming out with part two to that coonery this week because I've been seeing a mass growth in coons on YouTube and off of YouTube. I've been seeing the coonery is at an all-time high, so I got to come out. I might drop coonery part two and part three this week, y'all. Don't quote me on it. Don't take my word for it, y'all. But I'm, I'm, it's coming soon. But I might drop them back to back, y'all, because coonery is at an all-time high. Indigenous 56 a say everything should be questioned. Oh, yeah, indeed. We're questioning everything. You know, that's what really what my channel is based off of. Uh, yeah, I didn't get that angle. Indeed. Question everything. Trust nothing. Indeed. Teresa Martin is an Eastern star. Kanika mama. Oh, yeah. I don't trust it. Well, I ain't going to speak on that. Yes, I seen she is says shit weird because Trayvon Daddy was a boule. Oh, I can believe that. That's how you know those are psyops, indeed. But they still died in that hotel, people. Wow, that's something, indeed. Yo, just Demario, love, peace, bro. Chief Holiday, peace. I ain't even see y'all up in here. Peace. Shout out Demario, love. Shout out Chief Holiday. What's good, bro? Chief Holiday, what's great, bro? They test bank their ways through school lawyers, doctors cheat. This is their. Secret society. Oh, yeah, indeed. Waving the fofo just listening. What's good? What's great, love? Different pieces. Much love. Great to have you up in here. Something about that, about the one that's here too. Hotel. Okay, okay. Oh, girl, you posted a posted a today got knowledge. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that sister, yeah, I posted her. I had to show her some love, man. I be going by her channel and I shared a video, man. I liked it, that video. Uh, how about these who take affirmations instead of oaths i know one good lawyer who stands up against the rest of the lying bullies he gets labeled as agitated by the bad ones in court true oc that's just listen i know for a fact that a courtroom is only a play it's only theater theater when you go to study you go to you go to you go to law school and you study all them years you study all them years just to learn how to play the game. Just to learn how to play your role inside of that courtroom. That's it. Like straight up. That's the only reason why they go to law school. Then once they reach where graduation, they take that oath. The AKA the bar. They join that fraternal and sorority order. And all that means, all that is, is that they're promising that they're just going to play the game. That's all it is. I promise that's all it is. So if you see a lawyer that's acting like he's a good guy, he's against the agenda, he's just after that money. And they've, they've chose to put him in that position. You get what I'm saying? They chose to put him in that position where he's going to look like he's going to be helping. But they're really splitting the money still. Them lawyers are paying the judge, paying the DAs. You get what I'm saying? That The DAs and the judges are paying the lawyers at the same time. They trade us. In the courtroom, we get traded, y'all. Don't ever think that it's, it's justice. There is no justice. That's why I don't have no lawyer. I don't have any paperwork when I go to court because I know it's just a circus. It's literally a circus, y'all. But uh, let me catch up to the chat because cell phones give us brain tumors. Damn. Uh, Mark Zuckerberg has tape over his laptop and mic. Oh, you better believe it. I'm finna start doing that shit to mine because I be noticing it. See, this is the thing. I got an iPhone, so mine makes static noise. So I be hearing my camera cut on all the time and I don't be having it on. And it don't even show that it's on. And I just cut my phone off. But yeah, the camera, man, Chief Hollow, really, you seen Willie Duke? Willie D. Coon videos? Uh-uh. Matter of fact, I lied. I think one popped up. I didn't it though, but I seen one come down my timeline when I was looking for my video. I typed in Coonery, and I seen a Willie D. I'm going to check it out. Uh, Chief Holiday, I'm going to check it out. Bro, I need a full interview. Hit me up. That's a bet, Chief Holiday. I'm going to hit you up uh, on Instagram. I got you, bro. We see a growth in brain tumors like Johnny Cochran. Uh... Hey, y'all, check out Chief Holiday page also, y'all. Oh, we see a growth in brain tumors like Johnny Crocker. Man, listen, that's coming from direct energy weapons, y'all. Direct energy weapons, y'all. We got to realize that that shit is true. Y'all think I just dry got heart problems? Listen, man, I'm not even old enough to have heart problems. I don't even eat unhealthy like that, y'all. Like, that shit don't run in my family. Heart problems don't run in my family. Uh, none of that shit. If y'all don't know, y'all... I try not to talk about it, y'all, but I'm a targeted individual, y'all. Like, I've been gang stalked since early 20, 2017, y'all, and they never stopped doing it. 
You get what I'm saying? So just just know, y'all, that them direct energy weapons is not nothing to be played with. Question everything, peace. Peace and love to the chat. Indeed, Chief Holiday. He one of the only rappers who came to YouTube and made a channel. Uh oh yeah, indeed. Who is that? Oh, you talking about um what's we call it? Uh Willie D. That's what I'm saying. I thought Willie D was a rapper. He was calling. I know they see me on YouTube. They should come to the chat. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Do you... And you think Willie D is an agent? Peace. Peace. Hello is like... Hello phonetically and... And... Uh, what it sounds like is oh hell. Like I hate to be here. So, you know... Say, um... Well met or... You know... Something like that. Hello is like a bad word to me. Um, it's all true. It's all a big play. Indeed, baby girl. Peace, em Empress. Indeed. I'm already sub to Chief. Oh, cell phones are very dangerous. Ghetto boys, please check out our tribal social media, tribeup.app.app.com. Thank you. Okay, indeed. Y'all check out the tribal social media, uh, tribeup.app. I'm going to check it out. I still never, I still never got it. Uh, I'm going to check it out. Um, LOL, you know what's up, sis. Indeed, indeed. Much love. What's going on though, y'all? Drop them topics. Come on with them topics. We let the chat die. If I missed your topic, if I missed your comment, I, I missed it on the accident, y'all. Because I, I thought everything coming if y'all have heard it. But I'm coming out with a coonery video also. But it's just pre-recorded. It's already recorded. I did it live, but I put it on um, private. And now I'm going a, I'm to a put it out uh, tonight or tomorrow or something. Puff, puff, pass. Indeed. Um, let me see. What's the deal? What's the topic, y'all? Any topic? Drop them topics in the chat. We let the chat go dead. Keep that mug moving. Let me see if I missed anything. Oh, girl, you posted today. Got, got knowledge. Oh, yeah, indeed. She be making the, uh, I think she got a little clothing line, man. I'm a supporter once I get my cash right. I'm a supporter. Gratitude, all right. Uh, nothing. He doesn't do any other day. He pushes race, baiting, st stride lines, Mario Love. That's his job. Let me see. Let me see. What if we work around them? Work around who? Freemasons? It's buffering. I bet it is. Let me see. My, my Wi-Fi is showing that I'm good, y'all. Is it still buffering? Yeah, my Wi-Fi showing. I'm good, y'all. I don't know what's going on. I wish I could uh, switch to the app. Mind over pay quick. Oh yeah, if you work around them, you know, pay them no mind. You can people know. You can you can people fast. You get what I'm saying? Mine's growing at an extraordinary rate, but at a normal extraordinary rate. You get what I'm saying? Some people are, because I'm an extraordinary person, so mine is growing at an extraordinary rate normally. You get what I'm saying? Because there's people that's did better than me. But at the same time, y'all, I ain't even going to say it, but a lot of them, I'm just going to say people that I seen. I seen when, when they made their first appearance on HOK. From there, just a couple years ago, to now, nah, something, something's up. And they be the ones pushing them pushing them uh agendas too y'all so yeah just just beware beware y'all best channel on youtube shout out man it's mario love hey you did you see my new video man i got you i got you on my video I, where you said best channel on youtube i say man shout out to demario love man best channel on youtube indeed uh let me see speak on genealogy uh what you want to talk about on ge genealogy indigenous 56 ace will it be on the front line he doing his job far as I know. Y'all have to check him out. I really don't. I don't even know no songs he put. Front lines of what? What is he doing at Demario Love? I'm trying to be open minded about him, but I side eye me. <laughs> um, did anybody notice when we were shut down and planes were still flying over spraying? Oh yeah, indeed. A lot of things happened during that shutdown. I also got to be man. Listen, y'all. I'm gonna give it right now. We got to pay attention, y'all. The shutdown, I don't... Man, the shutdown, I don't know what to say and what not to say, y'all. Just just be on the lookout, y'all. Think about it. They they hyping up the masses for certain things, and then when they see that the masses don't respond, 
They let that go away and come up with something new. They steady coming up with new things. They coming up with new things back to back to back to back, y'all. If y'all don't notice this. First it was, oh, Trump boxes, no more food stamps. Listen, y'all, I can I can bet any main recipients of food stamps, y'all, Caucasians are. That's that's just big distractions and things like that. But yeah, I know a lot of shit was still going on, questioning everything during the government shutdown. It wasn't shit shut down. They just wanted a big distraction. They just wanted something going on in the media to get us off of worrying about what's going on in real life. That's why I didn't I didn't watch the Super Bowl. Hey, um, RFG chosen said they was gonna win. I was gonna bet some money on it just because I believe them. Cause I I I consider I consider this shit a game. Like you get what I'm saying when you come to Super Bowls and courtrooms, and I look at it like the same thing. Two two different two different um two different wings of the same chicken. Like somebody just said in the chat a while ago. Hey, when you dealing with sports and entertainment, courtroom is the same damn shit. What's up, homie? What's good? South 62 Transport Peace. What the shutdown was really about. Indeed, I didn't even see you say that, man, but I hope you caught a little bit of that. Uh, I hope you caught a little bit of that. You know I did. I got to say that in my favorite videos. A lot of your videos are. Okay, indeed, indeed. Yeah, I saved it under my favorites. Appreciate it, bro. Appreciate it, y'all. For y'all in here, man, y'all know they don't send out my notifications. You know, share my videos every now and then. They, I think they jacking my money. They jacking uh, the channel money. It's not mine. I won't use it personally. But I do need a laptop and a damn camera. A webcam, y'all, so we can start getting some better quality videos and better quality streams going on. Until then, I don't know what the hell is up with YouTube, y'all. Like, the, the revenue is there. They just haven't given it to me. They are needing energy. This is how people survive. That's why people need it to be still on the black blood moon eclipse. Oh, yeah, indeed. That's the best places to look it up. Okay, okay. Oh, my bad. I, I skipped a lot of things. You you heard my minds playing tricks on me at Indigenous Realist. Yeah, that's that's who that is. Yeah, that's my song right there. Uh, my mind's playing tricks on me. But I thought that was... No, nah, that's some people from H-Town. That's not Willie D. Unless he from Houston. That's people from Houston made that song. I'm a joke. I wonder how the fuck they predict the moon a whole calendar year. Because the damn... I can't talk about Flat Earth, y'all, but just go check out some of these brothers who make Flat Earth content and stuff like that. I don't want to get my channel banned. Cardi B, transvestite ass, already flagged my channel. If y'all don't know that transvestite, not copywritten when I put it there. I put the video up a month ago. Okay, my wife said don't be talking about Cardi B like that. But I'm going to talk about that damn tranny because that damn tranny flagged my damn channel. $10,000 raises. Now, wow. Yo, be honest. The things they do are not a game. The problem is that they took the things they found in the land and are using it against the people. Oh, yeah, indeed. So to us, it seems to be a game, but it's called energy sucking. The more you give attention to their movements, the more they keep doing them. Indeed, said. They only release technology when they done making weapons with it. Oh, yeah, indeed. All the technology, listen, y'all. All the technology they will be releasing. In the next decade, the next 10 years, but really past that. But in the next 10 years, y'all, y'all finna see a technology boom. And I'm, I'm, I'm betting whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm putting whatever on it, y'all. You get what I'm saying? If we still around. I'm telling y'all, within the next year to us. You get what I'm saying? We are actually prisoners. Whether we know it or not. Just like when commissary call comes, they got something new on commissary. But you know they've been having it. That's the same thing, y'all. They just giving us commissary. We just buying commissary. If you think about it, a prison is set up the same exact way as the regular world. Do y'all know that? The same exact thing. The same exact thing. Like, I don't even get it. Like, that's what makes it. people that go to prison. That's why they get out profound. Some of them get out profound and some of them get out and just don't even deal with the regular world and go back. Because it's the same thing, y'all. Like, it's crazy. This is nothing but a big ass prison. Uh, five dollars from Demario Love. Peace, bro. You should have put that on Patreon, Demario Love. I'm finna be dropping some some very exclusive content. You know, Patreon only, y'all. So for y'all people in here, um, 
Appreciate the donations, man. Shout out. Much love to DeMario Love, Mind of a Pequot for the donations. But hey, everybody, try to uh, go become a patron, man, because I'm coming with some uh, content. MJ Givens, Peace Queen. Willie D is from Fifth Ward. Okay, okay. Yeah, I know about. Oh, yeah, 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 man. Shout out to Fifth Ward, man. Yeah, I know about Willie D then. I just was thinking he was somebody from uh, some conscious, but I, I never knew he was on that, though. So I'm going to check him out most definitely. Yeah, I knew mine, uh, my mind's playing tricks on me was out of H-Town, though, man. They are into astrology. Anyone can predict the movement of the moon, the sun. They give you mad distractions so you can't figure they move. I thought so. What's the best places to look up genealogy? Oh, okay, Indigenous 56 A. I mean, you know, you already talked to your your surviving family members. I say go to go to your county records building, wherever that is. You know what I'm saying? I'm not real. I'm not real proficient on it. I've been getting help over there. Uh, on um well i don't even know what they call it no more as far as i knew it was tribe up it was on chief holiday page you know chief holiday could probably help you out with that i know they had they got something else going on aboriginal powers channel but i'm not real proficient with it i've been getting help myself with genealogy i my genealogy has been passed down orally and documented you get what I'm saying? Within our family. So I really didn't need to do any. I've been doing genealogy research on my father. There's no trace of my father at all. I've been doing genealogy research on my uh, grandmother's other side. You get what I'm saying? Because from her marriage side, man, it's just so crazy, y'all. That's why I made that post about we got more than one set of grandparents. I want to really know who I am to the furthest extent. I want to make sure I don't have anything other than myself mixed in with me you get what i'm saying because if i did i would want to represent that culture also you get what i'm saying i don't want to be out here faking it if i got other cultures in me i'm gonna uphold my culture no matter what it is whether it be indigenous whether it be whatever but as far as i can see i only got people from this land in my genealogy but but at the same time bro uh you know uh i could i could shoot you some information bro I just can't come right off to the top of the head with it. Oh, yeah, Black Heritage. Check out my BlackHeritage.com. Chief Holiday say check out his BlackHeritage.com. Um, Indigenous 56 Ace. I thought so, indeed. They are into astrology. Okay, indeed. The Ghetto Boys consisted of Scarface, Bookshwick, Bill, and Willie D. Okay, okay, indeed. I know about that face. Starting your own family tree. Yeah, that's that would be my best place to start also, bro. That would be my advice. You know, tap in with uh, Chief Holiday. But at the same time, like the brother said, yo, your main family tree is the best part, bro. Like that's no matter what these honkies got on records with your grandparents and your great grandparents and your aunts and uncles. Like you need to be combing through your own family tree trying to get every oral tradition. First of all, that's going to set you. If I didn't have oral traditions, if I didn't have my mother telling me my father was from Georgia, I would be totally lost. Because my father was born in 1922. Therefore, there ain't no records like that. He was in the military. I can't even find military records of my father. Like, I need somebody to help me find his military records. He don't got no last name. He didn't read nor write. My father didn't read nor write. Right. So, it's so hard, y'all. Like, some, some things are hard. And all, honestly, I haven't traced my father's genealogy except to my father. You get what I'm saying? All I know of my father is that my mother described him as an Indian. My mother described him as an Indian. She has a marriage picture and she has a death certificate. Besides that, I know nothing of my father except that he was an Indian. And y'all don't even use that term. I can only go off what my mother called him though. So when I hear her say Indian, and she don't refer to us as Indian. She referred to us as indigenous. So when I hear my mother call him an Indian, that lets me know he was lighter than me he was more of a reddish tone than me he also had way longer hair than me and at the same time you get what i'm saying he considered himself an indian so that's all i know about my father but i can't find anything about him he didn't read nor write or anything uh shout out to everybody though shout out to demario love again for that donation though pete uh mj givens peace to the chat indeed sis where your hashtag at the gig is up you always putting hashtag the gig is up what's good sis uh, also, people taking things in, into existence on the masses without valid proof. 
of these happening. Indeed. Yo, Willie D from Houston. Okay, I thought so. Love different. Halito. Indeed. Facts. Same number. Number system. Indeed. Shout out MJ Givens. Demario Love. Indeed. The Fifth Ward in New Orleans. No, Fifth Ward in H-Town. H-Town, man. Uh, what's his name? Man, I can't even think of them brothers' name, man. Shout out to Rap a Lot. Whoever the hell running Rap a Lot, man. Shout out to Rap a Lot. Example, 2020 census claim a status or name. I don't believe in the 2020 census, y'all. I've been doing my own research on that. Listen, y'all. I've been doing my own research on 2020 census. From what I can find, the 2020 census is finna be the exact same thing as the 2010 census, as the 2000 census, as the 19 census as the 1980 census the 1970 census and every decade before then they've been doing the census every 10 years i think it's been romanticized this year for some reason i don't know you know i'm i'm, I'm that's the steady research i'm doing but from what i found i don't see anything special about a 2020 census but you know i won't be participating whether it's special or not i don't deal with the hunky or his paperwork excuse me the pale the pale face or his paperwork um, Demario Love, Halito, Indigenous 56, Ace, Peace Fam, how are you? Indeed, that that's something I am clueless about. Okay, okay, every, uh, fact is deep, facts for me too. Okay, MJ, uh, Givens, everything they have done is to influence the site. They have studied the masses for a long time. They know how we move, how to build around our mindset. Oh, yes, indeed, Love Different. That's why I'm saying everything about, everything about, the masses, they studying it as a whole. You get what I'm saying? They could care what, they could care less what an individual thinks. You get what I'm saying? They don't care what the individual thinks. They want to know about the masses. They want to know what's going on with the masses. You get what I'm saying? Because that's who the control matters. The individual can be killed. The individual can be kidnapped. The individual can be discredited and even be slandered or even be made to just disappear. That's what they can do to the individual, but the masses, that's who they want to study and that's who they want to control at all times because an individual will only be a, 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 you get what I'm saying? Ohio indigenous realist, I made it, uh, O-D, O, O-W-O. -O. Okay, what's good, Ash Harrison, peace, little sis. Uh, that part, 1000, indeed. If we were born here, aren't we all mixed with something? No, I'm not mixed with anything, sis. Um. Uh, Everybody have different uh, Ohio Indigenous Realists. Chief Holiday Peace, high vibes to you, indeed. So until we learn that this is the game that they play, it's just they have learned how to use the planetary level to cipher and what they want to stay on top of them. We will stay at these low levels, indeed. Facts, burn bags, whitewash, indeed. MJ Givens, Peace Empress. They wrote off military soldiers as killed in battle back then because they didn't plan on none of them coming back. Same as today. That's why they treat vets like shit. Oh, yeah, I peeped that. You know, they, 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 they let on to that in that Robin Hood movie. In that Robin Hood movie, they let on to that. How they wrote Robin Hood off. They, they, they cheated him out of his everything. They, they seized his house, his everything, and told his wife that he was dead. But at the same time, the man showed up. So, yeah, we don't trust the paperwork. I spelled it wrong. Indigenous realists, I spelled it wrong. Nah, you didn't spell it wrong. Peace. Um, gig is up. Stand up. Indeed, MJ Givens. What cities have war wards? Why do they call it that? What do you mean, sis? I'm from California, so we don't have that. And 411, I didn't know you were from California, man. I was born in California, Linwood. I was born in California, sis. And my mother and all my family was raised in California. But my, my ancestors are from Tennessee, Louisiana, Mississippi, Texas, California, Oklahoma. That's all us, down south and out west. I didn't know you was from California, though, sis. Peace. Some of y'all have real work to do, and it ain't what what y'all be doing now. But only self will realize that. Indeed, man. Some people got a lot of work to do. Some people out here working love different. Some people out here working love different. Stop sleeping on me, sis. I be out here getting it in. Builders Club for some reason. Indeed. They know how to take us down for sure after Jade Helm. Wow, I don't even know what Jade Helm is. Ash Halito, indeed. Um, let's see, let's see. Okay, MJ Gibbons, indeed. No sellout. At Indigenous Realists. Oh, at Indigenous 56 Ace Tribe Up News. Um, 
www.ooowebhostapp.com Genealogy 50 free genealogy sites to get you started, brethren. Okay, okay, indeed. Peace, bro. Thanks for that. Also, we have to stop speaking things into existence on the masses because it manifests as real. Peace, y'all. No sellout. Peace, bro. What's good? No sellout. Great to have you up in here, bro. Drop that topic. NGA TV. Sup, bro. What's good, bro? Drop that topic. Y'all drop them topics in there. Uh, we must speak better wordings or just don't speak at all. The government makes money moves. They barely speak. Shit, the government speak too much. And all facts about military, let alone same fucking number system as prison. Same system. Oh, yeah, indeed. I'm originally from Mississippi. Did you hear about 21 Savage today? Yep. Demario Love, we built on that when, uh, you know, I dropped a little video. I dropped a little, uh, I did a little report on 21 Savage, man. Shout out to that brother. I just, you know, I just talked about 21 Savage in the stream we had the other day. When I was like, man, that little nigga, you know what I'm saying? 21 Savage really about that action. Whoa, 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 whoa. It fucked me up to hear that this man wasn't really from Zone 6. He wasn't, but all right, wait, 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 wait. let's pause. That don't mean he ain't from Atlanta. That don't mean he not ripping zone six. That don't mean he ain't really about that action. What that means is that he was just an illegal immigrant. I know plenty of illegal immigrants that's out here repping for hoods, out here doing their best shit. So don't don't count him out. He might go out there and still be repping. He don't know anything about there. He knows this place is home. So we can't sleep on the fact that the man really don't know nothing about the UK. He been out here his whole life. Except if he had a show out there or something. But it's good money out there. They'll love to have him out there. As long as he don't get kidnapped, killed, and cloned. Uh, let me see. Oh, that's why they, we click at it. This is really so I'm in Oakland. Okay, okay. That's what's up. I got family. Man, I got family in every part of California you can sneeze in. I'm talking about if you can go to California and ha-choo. My family is there. I swear to God. Like, I swear to God, sis. Hit me up on... Oh, yeah, you got me on Instagram. Everybody in here, add me on Instagram at Indigenous Realists. But, yeah. Man, if you can sneeze, if you're in California and it's room enough to sneeze, one of my family members in the room, I swear to God. Like, we have a big family reunion. Matter of fact, my family reunion was in Oakland last year, if I'm not mistaken. Not last year. The year before that, I think our family reunion was in Oakland. Uh, Jay Helm was military games they use here in America. Texas is the reddest state, meaning biggest threat due to them all them guns. Texas has its own power grid. Oh, yeah, we a country. We not even a state, y'all. We our own country out here, man. That's the difference. Places, when you're talking about places like this, Colorado is, is like a is like a military fort base type thing. Texas is like a military base type fort like thing. Um, different places, like, don't think, just because it says United States of America, don't think that all these states are united. Some of them are doing their own things. No government puts, uh, animals, all that, all on face and silently yet very loudly. Indeed. Indeed. True story. I remember that. Loyalty, Omerta. Indeed. Uh, now they use their minions to speak. The government makes straight money moves. They be eating while the masses be screaming. Uh, scraping indeed uh, I started wondering if soldiers really go to war or if there's some kind of virtual reality trick on them you didn't catch my build on that sis I said then the soldiers are getting MK ultra on the way in and MK ultra on the way out they don't remember anything they getting a form of simulation or virtual reality instilled in their mind on the way out that's what the MK ultra on the way out is I really shouldn't be talking about that type shit but uh, anyway, they don't be going over there to no Iraq or nothing. They going to the outer plains to go fight. You get what I'm saying? They, I swear, y'all, ain't no fucking wars in Baghdad. Listen, Biggie was rapping about, I mean, think about it. Prince Prince was singing about bombs over Baghdad in the, nine, in the 80s. Uh, Biggie was rapping about World Trade Center blowing up in the 90s. Shit like that, y'all. This shit don't. This shit be so fake. But I shouldn't speak about 9/11, y'all. So disregard that. YouTube talking about they taking down channels and shit like that for that. Uh, let me see. Um, Dominica is America. All the island, yeah. All the islands is America. Hell yeah. Um, uh, question everything. Peace, indeed. A hundred, indeed. 
like a mother MK like a motherfucker. Yeah, MK Ultra on the way in and on the way out. I was driving through Va Vasco Road today. I think there is something under them hills connected to Lawrence Livermore Lab. I need to do binge on some. I need to binge on some videos. Indeed, indeed. Go and get your binge on, sis. On the flip side, man, these man, think about it. We hear about um. I watched that one Dan Callaway video, y'all, where he says the four things history lied about or some shit like that. Uh, where you talking about that underground railroad though? I've also studied on that, y'all, and that shit still exists, y'all, and that shit is just now government owned now. The government has tucked them underground byways and highways and made it for their own uses. So it's probably high tech and fully functional right now. You get what I'm saying? So they, man, they everywhere, y'all. Like, that's why I say it's not even, we just giving a simulation of freedom. That's why you have people talking about we might be living in a simulation or this might be virtual reality in itself. What we're dealing with in all actuality is real, but at the same time, we're living through imagery. We're getting certain images protect, projected at us daily. Y'all hear me talk about subliminal messages a lot. Subliminal messages, y'all, are prevalent, are prevalent, y'all, all through this bitch. Like, every time you read a sign, you're getting hit with subliminal messages. Every time you look inside, of, hell, they probably got them on my video. A lot of these YouTubers got them in their videos. I notice them. You get what I'm saying? Some of these YouTubers, all right, I'm going to give you one example, y'all. I probably shouldn't be name dropping YouTubers, y'all. But um, what's the black dude that be... Oh, man, I get notifications for this dude all the time, but I be hearing him doing them subliminal messages. It's so funny. And he got a bunch of... He the one that be making all the fake videos talking about Gucci Man is really Michael Jackson and stuff. Y'all know who I'm talking about. The black guy. Anybody know who I'm talking about? The black man. Michael Jackson is, is really Gucci Man and... uh. All that shit that the little Ray Shmurd is they sons and shit like that. The black guy with the conspiracy theories. Anyway, that dude be using subliminal messaging inside his videos. Every last one of them, y'all. Like every last one of them. He be whispering. What he's doing is recording subliminal messages in the background. He's whispering on every video he puts out. He's in the background whispering things. That's why people love his videos so much. And they know they bullshit. They know he on their line. I forgot his name though. Um, worried about the uh, RIP part of Eman Moji video he dropped earlier. Indeed, yeah, I tapped in over there with Eman Moji earlier. That's who. Uh, that's who hearted my comment and sent me a message a while ago when I read it. That was Eman Moji. I mean, not sent me a message, replied to my comment on his channel. I never heard that the Devil May Cry game had all kind of subliminals in it, and it was shown to you. Indeed. Damn, Sean Blazington. I damn near thought it was a subliminal that popped up. I seen it out the corner of my eye. I'm talking about Sean fucking Blazington, y'all. I swear to God, if you pay attention, that man is whispering. Think about it. A subliminal message isn't only visual. It's also at the, at the tip of your perception and your hearing. You get what I'm saying? That's like saying, you know, I'm, I got the phone sitting on two phones right now. That's like saying if I had both of these phones or one of these phones, Playing a message that was really quiet, really quiet, where y'all couldn't hear it, but your subconscious mind. Subliminal messages affect the subconscious mind. They don't affect your frontal, your uh, your conscious mind. The one you think with, the one you typing with, the one you listening with. That's not what subliminal messages are for. You don't hear or see subliminal messages unless you're looking for them. But now, since y'all, I said something about Sean Blazington, uh, channel. You'll see why he got so many subscribers and why all his channels, people go crazy over his videos. Listen to his videos and watch him be whispering in the background. Swear to God. I wouldn't, I wouldn't dry say that about nobody. That's right hand to the creator, y'all. Listen to that man videos and listen to them subliminals. I swear to God. No bullshit. Yeah, he joking around because he know that they're going to watch his videos. He know they're going to subscribe because he's playing subliminals in the background, sis. Swear to God. That's why he get on there and say anything. He tells people, all, all right, I'm going to show you another one. I probably shouldn't be steady uh, name dropping these other people, bro. They're going to flag my channel probably. But uh, Wally the Great. I always say Wally the Great name. Wally the Great. These niggas is playing Wally the Great and Sean Blazerton for facts, y'all. Are playing subliminals in their videos. I'm telling you. And a lot of these other YouTubers probably do it. I don't know. 
I don't really watch YouTubers videos, but at the same time, I can verify that those two YouTubers are using subliminals, y'all. And subliminals are technically illegal. You get what I'm saying? But they use them. He says all kinds of shit that ain't real. Right. Shine the super. Indeed. I don't know who that is. Indeed. He be having them documents. Man, them documents fake as hell. This is what he doing. He jokes around. I used to watch him. Indeed. ASM. Yeah, that's what it is. ASMR. That's all it is. He whispering real lightly. I'm telling you, real lightly upon the, all his videos. I probably shouldn't be saying this. Watch, so they gonna fuck with my channel. And watch what I tell you, just for me saying that shit. But bro, be using it. I ain't gonna tell y'all that YouTube been trying to influence my content either, and that's probably why my notifications don't go out. Cause I didn't want to agree. I didn't agree to them influencing my content. I probably shouldn't be saying that, y'all. But YouTube been trying to influence my content in certain directions, but I'm not going to let that happen, y'all, because they didn't make my channel. I made this channel. But YouTube, not, I'm not talking about anybody on YouTube. I'm talking about the actual company has been trying to influence my content. So let me put that out there in the air, just in case if my channel ever does get fucked up. Let me put that out there in the air, y'all, that they've been trying to influence my content. You get what I'm saying? Um... YouTube stuck on CNG fake ass cyber. Oh, I don't, I don't know who that is. Cyber baby right now. <laughs> I, I believe you. I don't want to watch it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't even watch that shit. You telling the truth? He got the documentation. Indeed. Can you talk more about the M in your palm and what you think about palmistry? Um, he says all that. You know, I've been studying. Um, uh, I be studying palmistry. I be studying palmistry, but I don't consider the M's to have anything exactly to do with palmistry. I feel like that's something straight from the creator of these two M's we have in our hand. You get what I'm saying? Signifying that we are master builders. You get what I'm saying? That we've been using our hands to work since we've ever been on this earth. You get what I'm saying? That's uh, that's basically what I'm going to say on that. But I, I've been studying palmistry. We all have M's on our pants. Yeah, we do. Not the pale faces. Not the pale faces. They have them, but they don't have any. They don't have any distinction on their lines. You get what I'm saying? That's the difference. Damn. The pale face doesn't have distinction on their hands. They don't have like how you can see mine. They don't have distinction in there. It's not dis. It's not distinct. The pale faces are smooth. They don't have any dark lines on their hand because they don't do any work. They don't build. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. We built on that before. Yeah, hell yeah. That's what that's about, though. That's why you be seeing them go like that when they when they throw their hands like that. That's to show you that they don't got they don't got it. They stole the light. They didn't. They weren't born with the light. That's what that means. When you see a Freemason do his hands like that, that means they showing the world I stole the light. I didn't. I wasn't born with it. That's all that means. Shit, so weird. I see mine's clearly. Oh yeah, indeed. Wow, at True OC, yes, I have two perfect M's on both of my hands, 1,000. Oh, yeah, indeed, sis. Indeed, I never heard anyone else talk about that. Yes, I'm, in, I'm into that, too. Oh, yeah, indeed. That's what that's about, y'all. Them two M's. If y'all don't know, I'm a master mason. I'm not a Freemason. Freemasons are for free white men, by free white men. These red, these red Indians have joined up with this white man to steal our heritage, our culture, our land, our identity, y'all. That's why I don't affiliate myself with Freemasons. I don't affiliate myself with uh, Red Indians or their tribes. So that's why I do and say the things I say anyway. But, uh, yeah, I got two M's. Yeah, we all got them. If you, if you, if you copper color, you, you dark in any kind of way, y'all, you're going to have them. But the pale skin don't got them. Or unless you a pale skin question everything, I doubt it, though. I ain't think you were, but they don't got them. They not distinct. They don't show them distinct in their hands. I promise they don't. I promise they don't. But Palm Street is a good, you know, I got long lifelines, but I doubt it. They say I got a bad heart, but I ain't putting that shit in the air. I ain't going to speak on that shit. I ain't speaking that shit into existence. I'm going to outlive every honky that told me that shit. They steal everything, including our organs, because they are the most compatible. Oh, yeah, and DC, listen, when you're dealing with uh, with children... See, see, European, as far as when you're going into, if you want to say race, y'all know I don't use that term. I don't think race exists. Scratch that. I don't think 
is no part to think about it. I know race doesn't exist. Race is dealing with different types of things as far as like a race of plants, a race of animals, a race of this, a race of that. So I know there's only one race and that's the human race. But when you're dealing with somebody that's babies in our eyes, we are they, we are they mothers and fathers. They, them are our babies in a way, in some kind of sick and twisted way. They do come from us. In a way, uh, in a way, probably not on this plane, but maybe on another plane. They do come from us. And anyway, why did I, why did I bring that up? Uh, oh, yeah, they steal everything. Oh, yeah, one of our organs will be like a super organ inside of them. For us, one of our regular organs would be a super organ inside of a pale skin. You get what I'm saying? They got something, the stem cells. Okay, think about it. For those that watch sports in here, I know we got people in here um, that watch sports. How do you think your favorite sports player comes back from their in injury so fast? How do you think your favorite sports player comes back from their injury so fast, y'all? They getting stem cell injections. The same thing the elite get. They get stem cell injections, y'all. Them, them, them stem cells, y'all, them, they just the ends, the, uh, I can't think of the word, man. They like the trick arms on the end of your cells. The ends of your cells, y'all, have the power to regrow any muscle, any organ, anything, y'all. It has, a, it has the power to extend life, y'all. I swear to God, this ain't no pseudo shit or nothing, y'all. You can check it out. It's not legal in America. But at the same time, the uh your favorite your favorite sports player, when they get injured, they fly out to an island or they fly out to China, uh, Asia or they fly out to a different country, y'all, and get stem cell injections, y'all. It's a big secret, but everybody knows about it. You get what I'm saying? And it's not pseudo. You could probably check it out. Look at um anybody that gets injured in the in the in the um entertainment sports entertainment. Uh, let me see. They steal everything for transplant. I'm finna take a pic of mine. You finna take a pic of your organs, sis? Oh, of your M's? Okay, okay. They are bionic men, too. The movie Get Out the Mind and the Black Body Creepy Shit. Oh, yeah, indeed. What's good? Jamie Oz 25 piece. Man, that movie Get Out is real. They made me take my video. Man, I don't know if I can talk. See, they got me so scared with the censorship shit. They already stole my money. I ain't no telling what else they'll do. They got Cardi B flagging my channel, getting me copyright strikes for some shit that I know is not copyrighted. But I think they'll terminate my channel if I refute it and, and I lose. So I, I ain't going to. But I know for a fact, y'all, I haven't put any copyrighted information on my, on my channel. But anyway, besides that. What the hell did I bring it up for, man? My bad. I'm just uh, uh, kidding. It's the movie. Oh, yeah, the movie Get Out, y'all. I had a video talking about George H.W.'s death cer ceremony. I mean, whatever it is, funer funerary, that Masonic funerary service. And they flagged my video, y'all. They made me take it. They told me I had to take it down. You get what I'm saying? Because I said that that was a body swapping. That was a body swapping uh Ceremony, y'all, and they made me take the video down. I swear to God, they made me take the video down. They got steroids, the movie Get Out, everything, and down to the corners. Indeed, true, all of it, but kidneys is a big time black market shit. Oh, yeah, indeed. Indigenous realists, look up your birth chart and look where your Leo is at and let me know what house it is in and the number house. All right, I'll check it out. I really don't know how to do it. Somebody, I got somebody to, uh, one of them, um, Moorish brothers, man, Moorish Assassin. I got Moorish Assassin to do it. He sent it to me. I don't even know what the hell up from now from that shit. That's my first time seeing that. That's why the old lady in London still living. Oh, yeah, indeed. She, she got to be a clone. Now, she ain't a clone. Brie with my collect. How the fuck do love different? You came behind me? Love different. I'm starting to think your ass got access to my damn my back camera while I be on stream. Cause you always seeing when Bree come in here, and I ain't even acknowledged that Bree was in here, nor did I acknowledge that she went and got some Kool Aid. Did you even get Kool Aid? Oh, okay. Let me have some. I'm thirsty as hell. I'm starting to think you got access to my back camera while I'm on live. Love different.
I heard they use baby blood for long life. Yes, it's about the trick ohms and things like that, bro. I swear. Just look it up. Look up stem cell research and look up what what um athletes do when they get injured, bro. And you'll see. You'll see. No bullshit. They get them injected in them, man, and it's like it heals them up quickly. Like it heals them up like so quickly, y'all. It actually gets in there like nanobots. Like when they show you on on movies with little nanobots stitching up your uh, injuries and things like that. That's what the trick ohms and shit like that. I don't even know if I'm saying the same word, uh, the right word, y'all. But I'm thinking it's trick ohms. I don't know. Trying to say they low on blood. They do something with the blood because American Red Cross say they low on blood. Yeah, they ain't low on blood. What video did Cardi, Cardi Boy flag? Man, the one with the Trump speech. They talking about that's a part of a song. I don't have any music in that. I don't have any music in that video. The Trump speech. It, got, it only got like 18,000 views when she was ranting about Trump. She did not have that copyrighted when I put that up there. She didn't. My little sister tagged me in that uh, on, on Instagram. I went straight to it. I put it straight on my channel. It was not copyrighted. They, It was monetized. It's still monetized, but I don't think I'm getting anything from it. I think they sending it to Cardi, I guess. I don't know what the hell going on. I'm going to take that shit down. Everyone knows about it now. Oh, yeah, indeed. Everything wearing and they do something with the blood. Okay, okay, indeed. Cardi B flag. Yeah, that. Ho I mean, yeah, she flagged me, man. She a clone or a reptilian. She, she dirty. She got all that money and she flagged me for a video that's not even copyrighted. How you know she did it. How you know YouTube just didn't do it. And then I think the company is fake. No, cause they got they put who flags you. Mm. They put who flags you on there. And I got flagged by the Cardi Air Club. If y'all ever heard of that entity. I got flagged, I got a copyright strike from the Cardi Air Club, if y'all know who that is. And it gotta be Cardi B, y'all. Who else would be saying that that's their music? It's no song in my video. I don't know what the hell they talking about. And then they didn't even flag me for the whole video. The video is one video played twice for one minute and 59 seconds. And they flagged me for the second 59 seconds. And I'm like, this is the same exact video that was on the first minute. So how you gonna flag me for half my video and say it's a song when the whole video is the same thing? So I knew it was some BS. You need some more. I don't got your very good. Yeah, I even did on my. Uh, that's bullshit. Hell of people did videos on that. I even did on my backup. Yeah, they crazy. Not just organs, but plasma. Also, people donate plasma. Where do pla plasma go? Hey, I just dropped the video on that, bro. Check it out. It's a video. I put it as clickbait, y'all. Now, let's let's talk about that. Because people attacking me about that video. Y'all know. Bree. Andrew. Why would you give me Kool-Aid, then drink it, and walk off? I just asked you to more. Uh, yeah, that's why I asked for it. So I could drink it. Okay, well, you drank some, and I drank the rest. Mm. What you got on? Some shorts. Mm. I'm being there. Shut up, boy. Uh, what's up for the same? Uh, <laughs> you bad. Ain't that what kind of stuff is that? She gonna pour me the Kool Aid. I take a sip. She drink my Kool Aid and go in the room. Damn. I didn't do that. I don't do that kind of stuff. Yeah, Cardi boy, I'm dead. Yeah, they've been trying to flag IG shit we bring to YouTube. Oh yeah. I don't give a damn, cause when they when they ban this channel, I'ma be back again, y'all. We're gonna do better the next time. People gonna be looking for my channel. They're gonna be like, man, where indigenous real estate? I'm gonna be I might call myself uh uh I don't know what the hell. I wouldn't even say it right here. I might call myself Wonder Boy if I want to. Listen, I'll be back and we'll still be doing the same exact thing, y'all, except it'll be even greater. So if they they kill my channel, man. They still got to flag it, what, six more times or something? They keep flagging this motherfucker. LOL, she is a boy, <laughs> a pretty boy at DeMario Love. Shout out to DeMario Love and Mind of a Pequot for them donations, man. Uh, everybody in the chat, y'all, I'd rather y'all... I'm going to have to pin that comment on here so people will know. I'd rather you all uh, 
come to my uh, Patreon, man, so y'all can see see a little more personal side of me, man. And my mother. My mother is actually with me on my videos on Patreon. I let her have it. I really didn't even talk. I just was like, look at my family mound. You know what I'm saying? And then I let my mother talk. And she gave a little bit of the history. Like, I didn't even really talk on the video. That's where you see her on the front of that Freemasonry video where she's talking, but I don't have the words planned. That's because I didn't want to give uh. I ain't want to give up the video yet. You should make a... Oh, I got a backup account. Y'all probably haven't seen it. I got a backup account already. It's called I Hate Gang Stalkers. It's called I Hate Gang Stalkers. Peace and Disney Realist. Coach Crew Cut up in the building. Peace, Coach Crew Cut. What's good, bro? You ain't never tapped in, man. What go down, man? What go up? Shout out to Coach Crew Cut, man. Y'all go check that brother out, man. Peace at Young Indigenous. Where are Young Indigenous at? Peace, Young Indigenous. Man, we got everybody tapping in today. What's good? Y'all must finna lynch me or something, man. We got the lynch mob up in here. I ain't never seen this many Indians up in my chat. What the hell going on up in here? God damn. Much love, everybody. Will Fluorescent. Peace, bro. I just love your work, man. Very, uh, you're very young and very bright. Please keep up the good work and please don't sell out for the fake paper. I love you, beloved. Indeed. Much love right back to you, Will Fluorescent. Indeed. You'll never see me sell out for a chain, for, for a check. None of that, y'all. I'm going to be the same. This content going to be the same. I ain't letting YouTube affect my content. That's why they, you know, that's why they making it a hard time for my content to get out. But we ain't tripping. As, much, as long as I got good subscribers... Who actually sharing the content and liking the content and leaving me comments, y'all. It don't even matter. I'm just trying to reach a few. I ain't trying to reach them all, y'all. Uh, shout out Coach Kruka. You all good, brother. Indeed. Indeed. Uh, none of the less up in this joint. Peace, none of the less. What's good? Uh, and LOL, I feel you. Okay, okay, indeed. Um, let's see. Question everything. Y'all seen that too. They was all dead at 16 weeks. Experiment. Wow. Hey, y'all. What y'all feel about the... Uh, Somebody brought it up in my chat the other day, y'all. What do y'all feel about them saying that they killing babies all the way up to nine months? Like, what's up with that? Y'all think they really killing the baby or do y'all think they extracting it and using its organs, y'all, for they, for they sick and twisted, you know, little things they got going on? I think they killing it but still using their organs. Yeah, that's what I think, baby. Oh, God. I think they killing them. They chopping them. This is the thing, y'all. We got to realize, y'all. If y'all see me in that video. Oh, yeah, that's what I was talking about. I made that clickbait video, y'all. I said I took a genealogy test. I didn't take that shit, y'all. I got my family genealogy. That's all I love and need. But at the same time, y'all, I'm still working on the genealogy. Uh, I'm just still working on the genealogy part. But at the same time, y'all, listen. If you want to know about that plasma center uh, and things like that, Check out that video where I say I took a genealogy test and I found out I'm African. That was clickbait. Trying to get them Pan-Africans to come view some of our content, y'all. That's all that was. Check that out and um, you'll know about more about DNA, about cloning, about things like that. And don't just listen to what I'm saying. Read the words. See, I learned that YouTube would not let me uh, put certain content up if I'm saying it. But as long as it's typed on the screen... They don't really trip, so I type, I'm starting to type messages. So you're really watching two videos in one, y'all. So peep that shit. Um, they using the organs. Indeed, they are harvesting. Black, black babies have more. Oh, yeah, indeed. We have. We got to do something about all this gay stuff, man. I'm at work the other day, and one try, try and me, I almost went to jail. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You better watch them, brother. Where you, where you at, Demario Love? Where you at? Diamonds in the Valley. And the baby is very valuable. So do y'all think those y'all consider y'all ancestors weren't doing the same things with sacrificing? No. My ancestors were never doing the, the sick and nasty deeds that this pale faced honky does. We didn't rock like that. We didn't do that. No. Now, now, did we sacrifice some shit? Yes. But at the same time, we wasn't taking it. Taking it sacrificed and giving it. Really, y'all, if y'all really want to know. Love different. I'm not going to sit here and be no disagreeable person. I don't know what the hell the ancestors was doing with them organs. They could have been doing the same exact thing these honkies doing with them. Love different. That's big facts, y'all. And I am going to study more into that because I see it on the murals. I see it on the uh, 
I see it all through the uh, South America, all through North America. I see that. I see the sacrifice rituals and things like that, the depictions. But I want to know what the hell were they doing when they was pulling hearts out and pulling livers out and pulling brains out? Like, was they going and taking them somewhere or what? You get what I'm saying? That is crazy. So, yeah, I am not just going to disagree with you, uh, sis. Indeed. We got to do some. Okay, okay. Thomas and the baby. Okay, okay. The placenta as well. The doctors. The as well to do the doctors do with females after birth. Oh, yeah. They using that placenta most definitely. Do you know how expensive them? Man, a placenta sells for a lot of money. Do you know that some women naturally don't even produce placentas? How do you think that they're, how do you think that they're recreating wombs and recreating birth canals and birth cavities inside of these white women who can't produce naturally. They're doing it with our women's placentas. They're doing it with something special. They take out of a woman's... That's why they're doing C-sections, y'all. There's something more greater than a placenta inside a woman's stomach that they're after. They're after all kinds of shit. Man, shout out to Chief Holiday. Shout out to Coach Crook Cut. Coach, Coach Crook Cut. Y'all check them brothers' channels out, man. And Andrenochrome, I heard of Andrenochrome. I don't know what it relates to, bro, but I have heard of it. Today Sunday, yeah, well Monday, but right, all IVF babies are damn clones. Yes, that's cloning. Think about it. I'm finna build on that, sis. Great for you bringing that up, cause I meant to bring it up in that video. I just didn't. All right. The process of cloning, y'all. If y'all know the process of cloning, all cloning is is taking one strand of DNA. They take a sperm cell. They take a sperm cell and, and wipe it clean. Like you get a, a computer hard drive and wipe it clean and put your own software on it. That's the same process with a sperm cell, y'all. Think about it. Our genetic codes are run off of ones and zeros, just like a computer. Uh, into in, inner processing is running off of ones and zeros. You get what I'm saying? Um, binary. I think that's called binary, if I ain't mistaken. Anyway, DNA and computers are running. Y'all, they take a strand of DNA, they wipe the sperm cell clean, place the new DNA uh, strand inside that sperm cell, and do the same thing with the egg. They put the sperm inside the egg and fertilize it. That's how you clone, but that's also the same process for IVF, uh, intravag intravaginal fertilization or whatever the hell it is. That's the same exact process, y'all. So that is modern day cloning. That's not even modern. That's cloning, period. Artificially, but cloning is artificially done. I mean, IVF is artificially done also. No, cloning is done with actual cells and actual uh, egg. They take an egg to clone a human. All they need to do is get a female egg, and they take DNA and put it inside of anybody's sperm. You wipe the sperm clean just like a computer, I'm telling you. Just like a floppy disk. That's how you ain't used the computer in years. I don't even know if they still use floppy disks, y'all. I don't even know. Back when I was using computers, they had floppy disks and shit like that. But uh, it's like a floppy disk, y'all. You can have something on a floppy disk, then delete it and put something else on there. That's how they do it with the sperm cell. I promise y'all. I studied up on cloning years ago, decades ago, y'all. That's how cloning is done, and that's the same how IVF is done. Just look it up, y'all. I swear. I wonder what Jesus, I wonder was Jesus a clone since he was born of Virgin Mary. Virgin Mary don't mean that. I built on that on my Christmas build where I said, um, where I said um, Mary's unknown mass, that has nothing to do with being a virgin. That just meant that she was an unmarried woman. So she technically wasn't a virgin. There's no word in the scriptures for that. There's no word in the original trans transliteration for that. I promise. I think there are doing people like get out. Yeah, that's what I made that video. They made me take it down. Well, the government puts a lot of money into astrology, anatomy, physiology for a reason. Oh, that's right. Indeed, sis. Indeed. I was doing uh He rapping about God and Jesus. I wonder, hey, Jane. Who rapping about God and Jesus? Do you think DMX is a clone? 
Did y'all watch the DMX video I got on my channel where I where DMX is talking about he met the devil in person? That's why he's trying to give himself to God and Jesus and shit, looking for a way out of that contract. He entered a, a, a lifetime contract, y'all. If y'all don't know, when you hear niggas talking about they signed a contract, they talking about selling their soul. Because selling a soul is only selling your image, selling your voice, selling your mind, selling your body. That's that's what that's really about. Y'all, I swear to God, y'all, my sink just made some crazy ass noises. Uh anyway, Atlanta, I know, man. Oh yeah, you in you in ATL? Uh you know what the hell going on. I was out there recording a show, y'all. I was on TV, and that's where we recorded at. In Atlanta, I was downtown at the uh It's not a Hilton, but it's like a uh Hilton owned hotel. That's where they put me at overnight, downtown Atlanta. And, uh, man, it was a bunch of uh, fruities all around that hotel. Like, I'd go outside to smoke a cigarette, and they just walk it up, saying all kinds of weird-ass shit. So, yeah. Uh, our beautiful black babies, we don't sacrifice. Nah, yeah, we ain't sacrificing no damn babies. I ain't never seen that on now one of ours. Uh, nothing. They ask us, people ask us, where's the ancient scrolls? No, on the walls. They on the walls. You don't need no damn scrolls. We didn't have paperwork out here. That's why I don't see how people think paperwork gonna save them. Paper don't even come from this land. We never use paper. Paper used off of trees is the new modern age paper. But original paper comes from the papyrus plant, which is only found along the Nile River, y'all. Having children is cloning. Oh, yeah, in a way. Atlanta, I know, man, but cloning is artificially done, artificially. Do you think DMX is a clone on one of Jesus? I think that they are doing people like that, DMX. Okay, I got to erase that thought. Okay, okay, yeah, indeed. They're going to mess around and create something very demonic. It's, no, they've already did it, y'all. They wouldn't let me. <sighs> y'all, it's crazy. They wouldn't let me upload the video. Y'all, I've been trying to upload this video for, for two months now. And my wife can verify it. Brie, what video am I talking about? The soldiers. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The genetically modified soldiers, y'all. So they will not let me upload that video. You gotta watch this video. What is it? Wait, wait, no, you can't have it on there. Oh, listen to what this police can say. You gotta turn it down so they won't even hear it. Hold on, y'all. My wife got me checking out this video real fast. It's crazy. What's the cop finna say? Wow. That's the end. Mm -hmm. Wow, they got a cop on here saying, y'all, my bad. Y'all, I just watched the video, y'all. They got a cop pulling over this white lady. And he's saying, I got to take you to jail. We're going to impound your car. You know, call your people or whatever. And he, and she's saying, she's saying, like, I can't. I don't want to put my hands down. My phone is in my lap. I've seen way too many videos of y'all shooting people. Y'all know what this man told her? This this. He just told this white lady, she, he said, we only kill black people. Don't you know that? We only kill black people for reaching, not not us. How many videos? Dash cam. Exactly. That's what the chief of police said. He was like, I don't know what's in his heart, but I know what came out of his mouth, and it's unexcusable. Wow. Yeah, that honky just admitted that. I think I'm going to upload that, y'all. I don't care if they strike it. Send me that video. Okay. I'm going to upload that, y'all, so y'all can check that out, man, for sure. I'm going to upload it. I don't be giving a damn. Uh, uh, what was I gonna say? That was here in Atlanta. Okay, Coach Crew Cut say that was here in Atlanta. Yeah, that's crazy. I seen that video. He got fired. That cop was fired. Yeah, that's that shit crazy. Like, damn, you just gonna. <laughs> that that's why they did Pimp C because he broke the oath. Pimp C died was the day my life changed. The day Pimp C died. That's what I was saying, y'all. Think about it. They killed Pimp C for speaking out against Atlanta rappers. Let's be honest, y'all. They killed Pimp C for saying that uh, that he knew. Just for saying that he knew that a lot of Atlanta rappers were gay and things like that. 
Now, why as soon as 21 Savage, and I just said it in my video a week ago, I just said 21 Savage. Y'all know 21 Savage. Man, these, these bitch ass niggas gay. Man, fuck all these Atlanta rappers. These niggas gay. These niggas gay. All these Atlanta rappers gay. Now, look where 21 Savage ass is at. They couldn't touch them. They wasn't going to shoot that young nigga. They couldn't kill that young nigga. So what they do? Put them laws in his life. Deported that young nigga. Get the hell up out of here, you little crazy ass young nigga. I'm telling you, y'all, peep that shit. That, that, they put that as the culture for hip-hop, y'all, for a reason. They put that as the cultural home for the uh, hip-hop for that. Rapper Pimp C. Ben speaking on this. Oh, yeah, indeed. Yeah, long little pimp. In the beginning of Belly, he sacrificed his life to the devil. Wow. Um, I never seen Belly. Many, many married men are spreading HIV because they on the down low. Wow. Well, that's why 21 is being deported. Yeah, hell yeah, that's why he been deported. I'm telling you for a fact, that's why he been deported. I swear to God. I want to say something, but I know that I'm too close to the situation, so I'm not going to say something. But you can't even speak out on no up-and-coming rapper. This is what I'm going to say. This is what I am going to say. A up-and-coming rapper that's that's really like his 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 image and his his I can't even I'm not even gonna say nothing about it. Just know that up-and-coming rappers, y'all, that that you can tell that's finna make the industry a lot of money, you can't even speak out against these people. Like if you know some information on them for sure, if you speak out, they will get you, bro. Like long I can't even I can't even say RIP to my bro. But y'all can catch it in other videos. I be saying R.I.P. to him all the time. Damn. That was that was crazy, right? That was crazy. Uh. What you say? You say you were downtown, man. If you drop something downtown, you better kick it to Alabama, man. I swear. I swear. I dropped a cigarette down there. A man asked me if I wanted to go to a club in the alley. I say, brother, if you don't get your motherfucking ass out of my face before I fuck you up, brother, you don't know me, that man was gone. But at the same time, I knew that man was on some freaky shit. I told that man I was going to fuck him up if he didn't get out of, out of my goddamn face. He left. It was cool, man, but I know them boys freaky down there. That's all I'm gonna say. I know they freaky in Atlanta. Uh, did that light just turn off by itself? On oh, God, it did, sis. You see me click on the other one? On oh, God, it turned off by itself. Uh, I wish I would have seen that before I, I did his his vid. Damn, indeed, Kevin Gates started to switch up as well. Man, Kevin Gates, man, you don't see these people exposed. Man, Kevin Gates is gay as hell. I hate to say it, y'all. I don't like speaking out on, on rappers and shit, y'all. Because I don't want to have to burn one of them little niggas. At the same time, y'all, that nigga Kevin Gates, gay as hell. These niggas been coming out. He was down there in, in prison in Chicago. Everybody that's getting out is making their videos, exposing them. Just look up videos, man. All these people ain't saying the same shit. All these people ain't saying the same shit. Look at these videos with Kevin Gates saying this old gay ass suspect shit. I don't know why he not in that video. I didn't make that compilation on my channel. That video compilation of the rappers, all them gay rappers. I didn't I didn't make that. I just uploaded that. At the same time, they should have had Kevin Gates at the front end and the back end. Yeah, the men be on Pornhub with they Man, I ain't finna read that shit out loud. Uh love different. Uh something in it up. Look at your boy. Now, I ain't going to speak on him. He be down here in my city. And, you know, I don't want to have to say You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, one of them other rappers just got his chain tucked back to back to back. And I always be talking about that big pistol stuff, big doing all that stuff. Got his chain tucked back to back to back to back. Like, that was funny as hell. But anyway, y'all, drop them topics. Y'all, come on. Keep the chat moving. Drop them topics, y'all. Let's build. Let's build on whatever. We ain't finna be talking about these these homo thugs and shit though, y'all. That. I mean, I don't know anything about that, man. I'm like, they really big. Oh man, you on some weird shit. 
gonna put your ass in timeout. Love different. If you keep saying gay ass shit in my chat, I'm gonna have somebody block your ass. I think y'all some real man good. Ah oh, man, you participating with her, and what the hell y'all got going on in the chat? This ain't no damn ladies' night. I don't know what the hell y'all got going on in the to see your GMO video. Okay, yeah, I read that out loud. I don't have a GMO video, but I will make one if you want me to make one. But shit, y'all know I eat GMOs, y'all. That's probably why my heart fucked up. 100. Oh, yeah, indeed. Our children are being influenced by all of these entertainers. I know it starts at home with teaching, but as a people, gotta start teaching our youth better. They are our future. Oh, yeah, in, indeed, uh, Jameis25. That's all that matters. Like, the children, the teaching the children is all that matters, bro. Like, for real, for real. Like, I don't even attempt. I don't even attempt to, like, go to the people that's too far out in age to... It'll reach them. Like, if, if the shit's supposed to reach them, it'll reach them. But the children are what we're supposed to be teaching, y'all. At the end of the day, the youth. The youth are what need the message. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, y'all done turned my chat into a freak zone, man. I lost... I lost uh, 11 viewers. Y'all in here running the viewers off, y'all. And y'all both moderators. Y'all need to get it together. You said that they wouldn't let you upload it on YouTube. Oh, not GMOs. Genetically modified soldiers. I can talk about it, though. I don't mind talking about it. The genetically modified soldiers. If y'all don't know, I've, I've said this before, y'all. Check it out. They got the video online. You can check it out. I won't be uploading it to my channel, y'all, because they already won't let me upload my, my video. And it had that clip in the video, so maybe that's why. But these other channels, I don't know how they do it, but they got it on their channel with the clip with the Syrian ambassador saying that uh, he was telling the U.S. ambassador that he needed to get them genetically modified soldiers out of his country. He wanted these genetically modified soldiers that were killing the people to get out of his country. Um, you were freezing. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, y'all still too freaky up in here. Um, what was I gonna say? Um, yeah, question everything. That's what that's in reference to. Check that out. And it was about Trump saying he gonna bring home these soldiers. So that that's the reason why I brought that up. I had to go out and come back in. Okay, do y'all know? We live under a clock they call the dome. I, I'm not going to talk about Flat Earth on my channel at all. I got enough of it on the, you know, on the back end. You tried American Spirit Organic Tobacco, no chemtrails, no chemicals. Yeah, man, but y'all know I don't even trust Indians, y'all. I don't trust Indians, man. Who make that shit? Where the hell that tobacco come from? It got a, it got a little red Indian on there. I don't trust them. I don't trust red Indians, y'all. I treat them just like pale faces, y'all. Y'all know they... Think about it. Let's be totally honest with ourselves. Do y'all think these people are on reservations just because America feels like they owe them something? When, when America... Not America, excuse me. The U.S. feels like they have to pay these people back reparations? When at the same time, we are from this land and they don't even want to tell us who we are? They don't want to acknowledge who we are? They don't want to... You get what I'm saying? So do y'all think they taking a... Do y'all think they've been reparated? Or do you think they're taking a payout? Do you think they're getting land that never belonged to them? You get what I'm saying? Or do you think they're getting a little part of something? Think about it. If you own the land, right? If there's just a little handful of little red Indians over here by themselves. And so the whole thing really belongs to y'all. Y'all really going to take a few reservations and a few casinos for all y'all land? I, I detect buffoonery right there, and I detect BS. Like, I call BS on that. I detect a sellout. That is a sellout, y'all. They sold us out, and that's facts. I don't affiliate with them people. I don't want to affiliate with them people. I have no love for a red Indian. And let my mother tell it my father was one, or at least half one, or part one. I would have told his old ass, nigga, I don't affiliate with y'all. Yeah. Now, rest in peace to my father, but I would have told him, I don't trust you, nigga. At the same time. Damn, could y'all hear anything I said? I, I, I fucking had to be. <laughs> That's y'all. I had the uh I had the thing recorded. 
I had the fucking microphone covered up, man. I was over here going off to myself. You were freezing. You said that you couldn't upload on YouTube. Burning anything, Chris. Chemtrails. Indians being duped. Yeah, I. They not being duped, man. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That why do you think that red Indian? Why do you think these red Indian groups be attacking the Aboriginals and attacking the Indigenous on YouTube and on other platforms? Why do you think they do that? Why do you think they're trying to suppress our heritage but want people to acknowledge theirs? Because their heritage is fake. They don't have no fucking heritage. This is not their land. That red Indian has no... Come on, man. That red Indian doesn't have no ownership to this land, no special credits, no special properties, no special anything that ties him to this land except migration, just like the hunky. So I don't... You know, people think it's cool to, you know, I don't, I don't, I'm not with all that. I don't trust them. I don't deal with them. I don't want to be friends with now. I'm nobody on a reservation, y'all. I'm sorry if I keep on covering up that thing, but I don't trust. Had 10, 17 time. Ah, uh, you knew who I was talking about, Demario Love. Hey, that nigga say who rich Pablo, time, uh, Pablo Juan. Oh, not, I don't know who Pablo Rod is. I'm talking about Pablo Juan. That's who I was talking about, though. Vaping better than cigarettes. I think so. I think that's what I need to start doing. But I ain't gonna lie, vaping. That's too much fucking nicotine. I'm trying to get away from nicotine and just trying to pay quiet. I heard you. Okay, okay, indeed, bro. Yeah, I don't I don't trust the red Indian at all, bro. Like that's a sellout. We we them people not our fucking brothers. They wouldn't have sold us out. They would be out here telling us, hey y'all, we need to do something about this, you know. We need to, we need y'all need to wake up. Why ain't there no red Indians out here teaching us who we are on a wide scale basis? Why ain't they leaving them reservations and coming to our neighborhoods and letting us know? They right here. I mean, I'm I'm two hours away from Oklahoma, y'all. I'm driving distance. Hell, walking if I really wanted to walk. I'm two hours away from Oklahoma, y'all. I never seen a red Indian. Cause they not coming to the hood to try to teach us anything. You get what I'm saying? They hiding the information. That's what my Indian Freemasonry video is about. Showing and proving. All of them fucking... Yeah, I don't I don't fuck with them. Control the nic nicotine content in vapes. Yeah, no, vaping is not smoke them tobaccos. Why y'all not making y'all own vacant chemicals? They sold us out because we were too lit. Why not take tobacco and get a microscope and examine what they did to it? Man, I don't be giving a damn, y'all. I don't be. The flesh is only here for so long, y'all. Like, I really. I really. Man, I, you see, I went to the hospital for a headache, and they tell me something wrong with my heart. These people don't know shit. These honkies don't know shit. They just be testing shit out on us. Yeah, you talking about them rope? No, I'm talking about actual flesh. Shout out again to Mario Love for saying I'm the best channel on YouTube, man. Shout out again to my brother. Shout out again to Mind Over Pequot for the donation. Shout out again to Demario Love for the donation. I gotta go to sleep, fans. Peace. Oh, shit. Yeah, it is 3 a.m. It's 3 a.m. It's 2 a.m. out there where you at. Um, peace, though, sis. Get some rest. Love different right down the street from you. Good night, and Indeed. Indeed. Peace. Great to have everybody come through, man. We're gonna be on here for uh, a few more minutes, y'all. Wait a second. Say, y'all. This not even the same fucking stream, y'all. They saying I only been on the stream for nine minutes. Y'all hear me? Where's your leg in your birth chart? Or where's your Leo in your birth chart? Oh, hell if I know. Hey, y'all, this not even the same stream, y'all. This weird as fuck, y'all. Y'all hear me? This not even the same stream. I don't know how the fuck the stream switched. I swear to God, that's probably why the... Man, that's that's weird as fuck. Yeah, I ain't gonna be on here too much longer, y'all. They didn't... I don't know how long we been in here. Wait, it no longer than... Wait, it's no longer than nine minutes. Yeah, they say we only been in here 10 minutes and 32 seconds. It cut out before, but why would it do that? My streams never did that before. It say two hours on my side. Yeah, mine say 10 minutes and 42 seconds. Yeah, that's some weird ass shit. That's some weird ass shit right there. Right around, that's right around the same time my light went out too, y'all. Your lights went out and they switched you. Yeah, yeah, I peeped that. That's weird as fuck. We hear you. Okay, okay, indeed. 
Shout out again to you, Mino Pequot. Yeah, y'all peep that shit, though, y'all. That shit weird as fuck to me. Right when my light went out now in the stream. Because that was about 10 minutes ago. That's weird. I ain't never seen it do this, y'all. It's saying I only been in here for 11 minutes. And I know for a fact we've been building longer than that. But anyway, y'all, we finna wrap it up in a little bit. Any more topics? Come with them topics real quick before we leave this joint, y'all. Much love, y'all. Uh, you know, I was, I was, I really not been live streaming. That's why I've been making more content than usual because, you know, it's kind of like doctor's orders, y'all. I ain't supposed to be riling myself up. These people, you know, I don't. They wouldn't even tell me what they seen inside my heart. I don't know if they seen one of my tubes. Small or I don't know what the fuck they seen. They didn't even tell me that was very unprofessional. They didn't give me any kind of doctors, orders, or then they act like I'm finna die, y'all. Like I ain't trying to pump it up. I really don't even want to talk about it. But they act like they seen something that just say I'm finna die. They start asking me questions about death and all kinds of shit, y'all. But much love, y'all. Keep keep good vibes coming to y'all, brother. I ain't going no fucking where if they if I die, y'all. They did something to me. I stand on that. You know what I'm saying? I stand firm on that. My wife gonna stand firm on that. If I, something happened to me, y'all, they did something to me. Because I'm healthy. Fuck what they saying. I'm totally healthy, y'all. There's things we see. We gotta uh, make better moves. It's chestnut checkers. Indeed, y'all. Any more? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna stay healthy. Any more comments? Any more topics, y'all, before we leave? To merit can help. Yeah, I heard. We don't really got um fresh roots and shit. We don't really got that shit. Man, I'm just going to keep... Listen, y'all, I didn't survive all this time, y'all. I'm going to keep doing what I've been doing. I am, I don't really eat unhealthy, y'all. Believe it or not, I really don't eat unhealthy. I don't know what the hell is going on. If something happened to me, bro, somebody did something to me. Period. And check out... Matter of fact, y'all check it out. This shit, before I ever stepped on YouTube, y'all, I've been getting gang stalked since 2017. But anyway, y'all, much love. I got to go. Um, go and type in your birth chart. Fill out what it asks you. Where's your Leo? Let me know where it is at. I'll let you know, sis. I'll hit you up. Um, you going to join some panels like Bro Sanchez Live? Nope. Nope. I ain't going over there to Bro Sanchez channel. Last time I went over there, that's when my shit started fucking up. That's when my phone started fucking up from going to Bro Brother Sanchez channel. Then the next thing I know, a day later, they put out that um, they put out that notice talking about they that they were stopping people from talking about flat Earth and shit like that. So I don't, yeah. But that's when my channel got fucked up. When I, out, the day I went over there to Brother Sanchez channel, like they don't want me involved with Brother Sanchez for some reason. So I'm just gonna, you know, I'm not gonna go out my way to get nothing happen to me or nothing. But I swear to God, YouTube don't want me over there. Mine's in cancer. Uh, where's yours? I got to see when I get off the channel, uh, Love Different. You know, this is my computer right here. My phone is my computer. Take care of yourself. If you leave me, I'm going underground with my TP. Okay, straight up, question everything. Straight up. Yeah, don't trust Don't trust these honkies. If I disappear, y'all, these honkies did something to me, and I swear to God. Check out my other channel, Game, Game Stalkers. Um, and y'all see a little bit. But anyway, I got to go, y'all. I shouldn't have brought that shit up about my heart. I don't feel right. Um, um, Double communication, indeed. Look at the red Indian. Much love. Much respect, y'all. I'm 